Don't know why they haven't called him. I don't give a fuck about the why. <laughs> <laughs> you want yeah, answers? You I know the why. Why are we even having a topic? Why. Thank you. So you just report news. Hey, Samuel L. Jackson I'm isn't in only, Civil War. Thank you, Prodigy, for letting us know. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not only reporting this shit. I'm telling you that it's fucked up. You're going to say it's dark outside, too. <laughs> and it's fucked up and dark. Yeah. So you, you, hey, you a broke-ass weather man. You a broke-ass weather man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if you've been getting cucked by Disney all night. If you up, smash that like button. Welcome to Black of the Black Times Infinity. I'm your host, Cthulhu's Brothers. You're coming to you live and direct from the dro. Smoke me out, fam, with that dang shit on my left. Your boy, Stitch. I think we all know it's Elliot that's leaking those Game of Thrones episodes online. Ooh, uh. god damn. I'm a far right engineer on the one shoes. Talking people on the free sports corners. One more year closer to dying. Oh, uh. yes, we got to go in. In the middle, we got the oldest ninja in the world. Old oh, ninja. Wubble dub dub dub. Nice. You on your Rick and Morty bullshit. And last but not least, we got your boy Blue. Whatever happened to the black hole stays in the black hole. Mm, damn. God damn. All right. We back up in here. One more game. Uh, who we got as, uh, up in that vault? Anybody? Uh, nobody it, yet has commented. God damn it's, it's empty. Uh, well, there's somebody in there that's haven't commented yet. That's kind All of right. amazing. All right. Say something. Let us know yeah, you're alive so and breathing. Our listener of the week would be MJ Hove. What's going on? So that's our... It's a newbie? Yeah, it's somebody new. So that's pretty awesome. Thanks it's for listening. Like they're a Nike fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very, very dope. Uh, please let us know, especially if we want to see that the vault is working. So be vocal in there. Yeah. Like you always well, hopefully are. Hopefully people get notified because I know there's been notification problems with... Uh, with YouTube? With YouTube, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Especially, uh, especially around YouTube shit list. Mm. Oh, so, yes, yeah. For those of you who are not listening to us live, uh, we actually have a live chat when we do our podcast. So when you, you know, if you want to chat with us, talk shit, ask questions, uh, you can listen to us live on YouTube. I mean, to, it is 8.30, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Show. Wednesday it's night, 8.30. Yeah, Wednesday night, it's podcast Wednesday. So All right. Then, Let's get it cracking. We got anything in our RIPs before we, uh, with our pouring out liquor? Anything? Anything? Um, I don't think we have any. Not, not that I'm aware. Of. Nothing. Yeah, not that I'm aware. But we are gonna have an RIP. We won't be talking about though. All right. Who want to set up this Virginia? Uh, we're like at twenty-two. What? What's going oh. on? Technical? Not a podcast episode? For really? Oh, the numbers. Yeah, the numbers are slightly off. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, Stitch, okay. set us up. Fix that. Uh, well, it seems to be the big news of the past couple of days um, was the incidents of violence that took place in uh, Charlottesville, Virginia, on the um, University of Virginia campus. I'm not sure if it was actually on the campus or close by, but it's in, it's in the same city. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, um, originally, there was a sort of um, protest um, in reference to trying to remove some of the Confederate monuments or a or a statue of, I believe it was Robert E. Lee yep. at that location. Um, the groups that like to call themselves, I guess, the alt-right um, or in, in combination of like neo-Nazi. I, it, it's where I get a little bit sketchy because I don't want to label people as straight up Nazis. We've had this conversation before. Well, um, those were straight up Nazis though. Like, yeah. I think, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Swastika was there. <laughs> the salute was done. There was literally Hitler paraphernalia. Yeah, and, yeah I, well, I, I don't, I don't really see... go into subclasses of my scumbag pieces Fine. of shit Fine. Were there, <laughs> but yeah it's sort of that whole general category of people were there um protesting the remo- removal of this uh statue um while this was going on a separate group of people uh protesting the protesters um wanting uh pretty much equality and and wanting the statue removed people Represent uh, Black Lives Matter, other equality groups, and things well, of that talk, nature. You talked about which statue, yes? Yeah, he, he mentioned. He mentioned okay. Yeah, so yeah. Um, they were sort of, sort of doing their own counter protest and everything. Um, the incident that took place that everyone is uh, talking about w- and shown all over the internet and all over the news was um, a car just plowed into a group of people well, with a driver in it, with though. a driver in it yeah in a, it was like a, a gray dodge challenger it was an old um, person they yeah. mistake the brake no nah, it, it, it was mm. it, it, on purpose it seemed to be very done maliciously was it a prius no nah. <laughs> <laughs> it was an autopilot yeah Skynet. and uh plowed into a, a large group of people um they weren't 
like blocking a highway or anything of that nature. Nope. They were uh, assembled, had permission to assemble at the location and, and doing their own thing, waving flags and, and et cetera. And this person decided to uh, hop behind a wheel, um, plow into them, and then hit the, the reverse and try to get the hell out of there. Flee the scene. Um, I forget the total number of people that were injured. Uh, 19. 19. Okay, 19 people were injured. One person died directly because of the incident. And then um, it was also reported that two Virginia state police officers um, uh, it, in responding to that location uh, in a helicopter uh, crashed. Oh, yeah. And so they're uh, saying that uh, because of the incident, um, three sort of total three total lives were lost because of the uh, the actions of this uh, idiot scumbag that uh, decided to run his car into a group of protesting uh, people. Yeah, and that's where um, I guess we can start with this because <laughs> this is a mushroom cloud into a. I mean, obviously, it's a it was a national story when it happened, but it is now branched out into. All kinds of sort of political statements and gone in, uh, into how the the president's been handling the situation in terms of uh, trying to, I guess, people are criticizing him for saying that there was blame on both sides mm -hmm. for what took place, which uh, has a lot of people insanely upset. And I mean, I believe rightfully so, but we'll, we'll get into the details about that. And then, um, I mean, it's, it's just gone on into even the world of sports, like we'll talk about on our, our podcast uh, for MD and Kobe, where people... Uh, have been using this to cite their reason why racism is still obviously alive and, and well going on in the United States, no matter what people try to say or do and to to combat that. And, I mean, we've had this discussion where in New Orleans they were removing monuments. Yep. And uh, we've had back and forth with uh, one of our good friends about different viewpoints on it. Uh, obviously, that didn't lead to a violent situation where someone's life was lost. But... Um, now we're seeing different states. I saw in Maryland, they uh, took it upon themselves in the in the dark of night to remove uh, statues. Yeah, they moved uh, yeah, just to to sort of get out ahead of it. And um, even uh, I believe Richard Spencer was scheduled to talk at the University of Florida. They decided to cancel that uh, because they didn't they didn't want any sort of uh, violent actions to take place at that campus. Same thing at uh, Texas A and M. Um, they canceled uh, uh, one of those alt-right speakers, as they're called, from uh, appearing on, on their campus because uh, for security reasons and, and safety. Um, that's just a very, very tip of the iceberg on, <laughs> on where this mountain of, of a topic... Uh, it's a mountain of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to be neutral as I, as I describe the situation for the, those that might not... You can't be neutral with Nazis, though. I mean... <sighs> I, 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 I agree, <laughs> but I, I'm just telling for those that don't know. I don't know if the, I mean Dirty Scoo's Stu's out in Scotland. I don't know how much he's heard <laughs> of the incident out like, there. So I'm just are there like the IRA? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, that's not Scotland. He's like, God, I, I'm, he's I'm like, sorry, I thought Stuart. Nazis were gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, they yeah, are this is a for the most man. part. Yeah. yeah. Either yeah, general. The Go ahead. Shit was, there's no third right. It was pretty crazy. Like I, what I thought was hilarious. Like literally when I saw them walking with tiki torches, I couldn't stop fucking laughing. Yeah. I was like, you guys can't even get fucking pitchforks and fucking torches, right? <laughs> you getting tiki torches? You understand that's like Polynesian shit, right? Mm -hmm. Like, how the fuck are you going to be a, a racist like that and can't even get... You don't even recognize yeah. that shit's from, like, parts of Asia. Like, Walmart Maybe, racist. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I, I'm pretty sure they got them at Walmart. Maybe so. there's way too many mosquitoes that day. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you know what? I gotta use some of this like, tiki shit. That's just ridiculous, though. It's like, I, I couldn't believe they were carrying tiki torches. And the fact that they were just um, coming out and just saying that they were Nazis. It was fucking crazy. I was just like, how do you yeah, fucking do that like, in, today? It's, it's it, weird. It, one of the things that, one of the many things that throw, throws me for a loop is just like the blatant just disregard for for their hatred that they, that how vocal they are and just show, putting their faces out there. I think it's great. Actually. I'm not, well, I, 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 yeah. it was surprising that, I mean, no, no more times people like to hide behind the, the mask of Twitter or Facebook yeah. and, and say I'm they're racist, hood. dumb shit, or, or even a hood. These people are just out full force, showing their faces, waving these swastika flags, and just acting, acting a fucking fool. They're, they're just so blatant with it and everything. Yeah. And I mean, I think it's funny now that a lot of these people are losing their jobs. <laughs> because they were dumb enough to put their faces out oh. there and, and their employees be like, uh, hey, uh, we need you to go talk to uh, Human Resources <laughs> and uh, bring your uh, your playbook and your apron <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, whatever the fuck it is that you're doing and uh, you got to hit the road. So what I know is um, Friday or Saturday night, the driver of the 
Challenger was caught. Did they find out whose side he was aligned with? Oh, I mean, he was part of the neo Nazi. Yeah, yeah. He was a neo Nazi. Yeah, yeah they, right. they have a photo of him like lined up, sort of like. A, I haven't seen the photo. Yeah, I didn't know they posted a photo of him. Yeah, they have. A, uh, they showed his jail He's from Ohio. photo. Yeah, Ohio. Uh, why am I? Not and he, had, he and they actually Matt. the news released that <laughs> information about his past. Like he's a known like uh, he's. He's a known arrested. white supremacist. Well, With that, and he's also been arrested for like abusing his mom and some other some other crazy shit. If wow. you're from Ohio, why the fuck do you care about the shit. Confederacy? What 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 sort yeah, of? You're, you're already white. in the North, dumbass. <laughs> 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 the North's all right. Wait a minute. That oh, really makes wow. sense. We won. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's just weird. Um, I believe it was Kronos who was talking about we went to war against the Nazis. It was the Axis versus the Allies. And they were trying to take over territory. Pretty yeah, much. It's, a, it's another uh, band of fucking losers. They all got together. Yeah. Yeah. The, the losers of the Confederacy and the losers of the fucking Nazis. They're all, they're all getting together and trying to make a loser party. Yeah. So, right. but hey, guess what? I mean, uh, actually, I'm I'm glad that they came out. I'm I'm sorry that people died and got injured and shit like that. But I'm glad they all decided to come out and make sure that we knew who the fuck they were. Well, yeah, for that you know, this is true. Um, I, I do have a, a point that I want to make though. Something that we've been missing for like since. Jesus, like the 90s. I thought you meant like Jesus when he came. No, yeah. No, we definitely <laughs> don't need Jesus. Hey, oh, boy. I had um, his autograph. What y'all talking yeah. about? <laughs> no, but I mean, the, the point of a de- de-escalation. Um, you know, I've been going through, I- I've watched uh, the CNN show, the 90s. It's a great fucking show if y- y'all haven't watched it. They have ones from like the 60s, 70s, mm-hmm. 80s, now that the 90s. Greatest decade ever, I'm just saying. Yeah, <laughs> not but, uh, biased. <laughs> yeah, not, not biased at all. But a lot of this shit is like, the starting of what we're seeing today started back in the 90s and so, some of it even before that but we had shit back in the 90s that, that really started and it started with Waco when they went through and they said that they put they tossed in CS gas and ended up burning the whole fucking place down yep. yeah. that's when we had this whole like super right movement kind of kick off is because that's when people started training into like militias and shit like that wait 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 when was the Oklahoma City bombing that was after that yeah that was way after was that that was after yeah okay. and the, yeah. the guy that did that went to Waco and that's one of the that he got inspired uh, mm. and he saw them burning down and that's why he bombed one of the reasons why he bombed uh, the, that building so yeah um, and nobody really paid attention to it that much and nobody decided to de-escalate, de-escalate anything um, from either side and I and I see, like, from both sides, nobody's, like, tried to really fix problems and de-escalate it so things, got, so things can get better. They just kind of pushed it away. You know, oh, black people, fuck you. We don't really fucking care. Oh, you got problems with the government because we shot whoever the fuck because they had their guns. Oh, fuck you. Just go away. But nobody fucking forgets that shit. Yeah. Especially when, like, you're directly affected and nobody's trying to understand their side of the story. I'm not trying to say, I'm not trying to give excuses for fucking neo-Nazis, all right? What I'm saying, though, is that at some point here in America, we need to de-escalate shit on both sides we need to sit down with uh people that are on the black lives matter side and like really understand what their problems are and see if we can come up with solutions for that and from that side obviously they need to like they're doing okay right now but they've had violence in the past and like nobody can ignore that and with these neo-nazi motherfuckers it's like what the fuck do they really want in america you know what i mean they, i mean somebody needs to i mean obviously they probably have stupid ass demands but somebody needs to listen to them and see what they fucking want. I don't even see, know what their me, demands are. Well, 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 for me, I don't give a fuck about the demands of neo-Nazis. I, I mean, I know what they are in, in a sense because it's a extremely hateful and violent history. And we, we even saw and heard some of that audio and visuals from this past weekend. Yeah. Um, but how are you going to fix that, though? Well, to me, you handle it like the terrorist group that they are, and you infiltrate and bust and arrest and make it a law enforcement thing. When you when you talking when you're talking yeah, about yeah. people who are actively uh, doing violent and uh, inciting violent things. Well, but they, we have other, we've had other groups here in America that have incited violent things, and yeah. nothing has really happened. Even I, I can almost guarantee, even with this group, nothing's really gonna happen except for that one guy. Well, nothing's yeah. happened in the past. I mean, it isn't like the first time we had to deal with like stuff yeah. like this. Look what happened. Still around. What, what was but that me, last year? The militia group that took over the government building in Oregon. What the fuck happened to them? They got the, yeah, nothing. exactly. Yeah. Same shit. Yeah, same thing with the people in uh, Nevada, and, and, the ranchers. And, and, and shit. that's that's the thing though is that they had legit concerns. Like they were taking actually their concerns were kind of stupid because <laughs> they, say. they took over <laughs> this building that it was clearly fucking a public land. They were using it for their own use. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, but you know, but there's other things where it's like. It seems like there's two sides that we just keep escalating further and further up, and nobody's like trying to sit down and like talk to people and be like, "Hey, what the fuck? Is there any way we can get through this without fucking violence?" You know what I mean? Well, the question well, also is, are they willing to talk? Because they're kind yeah. of on that. Yeah, that they're bullshit. kind of that. Yeah, well, they're doing the salute. 
and yelling and screaming. They're saying, you know, get the fuck out of our country or my country. Yeah, it's definitely not their country. Yeah, so, so yeah. there's kind of that kind of thing. I mean, I did see, I was telling Blue before we started the cast, that if you watch, uh, I believe it's on HBO Vice, uh, one of the, there's an Asian American, he sits down with a white nationalist and uh, talk about the situation and what he believes and what he wants for America. And it's, it's kind of interesting, but they, they it gets heated a little bit in their discussion. Well, we, I, mean, I, I, I would like it to be on national TV so people can like literally hear their demands and laugh at it. Well, yeah, like, well, we saw Kamal Bell. I was about to say, we had, yeah, yeah he, he had an episode on it. That's on true. His show, yeah, no. where he actually went and spoke with, with uh, a group. And, and I mean, you well, see that they're, they're, it's really, there's no basis on what, what it is. It's just like a lot of stuff that, they believe and they perceive as being wrong and, and they're being taken advantage of and where uh, their history is being erased and and yeah. it, it just feels like they're losing in, in their mindset well yeah. they, they have and i it, mean if you're if you're a nazi you've already lost if you're a fucking well, confederalist you've already fucking lost. lost well also yeah, the white nationalists true. are the ones who are afraid that they'll become a minority in america feeling as if they were the ones that had so much power, and then if they become a minority, they lose power. Well, they don't have... Those people don't have power. Like, they don't. So that's the reason why they're in these little fucking tiny-ass groups, because they don't have any fucking power. Well, it's a lot, it's a lot like a cult. You know? Well, yeah, yeah sure. it, um, uh, I would say it's guaranteed a cult. Yeah, and I don't know. It, 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 here's my thing. When you're talking about folks who are organizing and trying to carry out violence... I, I got no patience for understanding anything. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's just well, like... That's a, the problem is, though, is that we're going to keep having these problems if nobody tries to, like, calm shit down. Yeah. Like, we can keep saying, throw them in jail, but they taught their kids. Oh, what the fuck are you going to do? I, yeah. I, I, I totally hear that. I think that you have to do the law enforcement stuff for certain. Yeah. And then... Yeah. Um, at the same time, you know, you can try to teach uh, <laughs> non-hateful yeah. stuff, you know, but how try. how effective yeah. is it? I mean, when you're yeah. a shitty parent and you're teaching your kids shitty shit, shitty stuff about racism and bullshit like that, the, the government, we don't want the government coming in and, can't, you know, yeah. you can't I, help you can't, that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, America's sort of handcuffed in that aspect in terms of we can't go in someone's home and tell, tell people how to... What, what you values believe. and yeah, what, what moral what you beliefs believe. you should be raising your kids, even though we all, all think it's fucked up. Oh, uh, no, to... that's not true. What do you mean? People, CPS takes kids away all the fucking time. Well, but oh, not, not, for, not, not for, for belief. Not for belief uh, stuff. If, it's I usually if the child's in danger. But, but, yeah, if you're, if you're teaching your kids some real fucked up shit, I'm pretty sure you can... For a belief system? For you have belief? an example? Mm, like if you were a Satanist and shit like that, I'm but pretty sure they can no, take your kids away. Only... I don't only so. Actually, no. You know, you yeah, have a freedom of religion. No, you have a freedom of yeah, yeah. religion. Actually. So if they're a Satanist, they, if they perform any kind of animal sacrifice and the children are present, yeah, that's and the, if they harm the children, then CPS yeah, will see, take See, those are kids. deeds very different yeah, from, yes, the from the belief system. Yeah, it's like, the yeah, belief... Like I, believing I in pig fucking and then actually pig fucking. Oh, that's two different things. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I was, it was to save the princess. Yeah. I mean, shit, if people worship rocks and have like rocks as their yeah. alien savior, there's nothing really anyone can say. Yeah. But then, even, but even then, even if, if they're throwing the rocks at people saying that they're saving them, then that becomes a problem. Yeah. But then also to further handcuff the situation where you, as an American citizen, you're allowed to peacefully assemble. This is, where, this is where it gets sketchy because. You are. You can't deny someone the right to assemble and protest. That's what Absolutely. we're founded on. Permit. Now, obviously, time after time after time, it seems like these type of assemblies turn violent and and cause destruction and vandalism and all kinds of, of chaos. But unless you sort of, like you mentioned about having law enforcement be involved, they it's really hard for them to be proactive on this without infringing upon that right that they have to assemble. I'm going to call bullshit just a little bit and only because, and I, I'm not an expert on this, so please fact check me, everybody listening to my voice. But I know that for uh, the Patriot Act and for terrorist cells, there is some preemptive well, work. That's, well, that's a, a problem. Security, though, right? Well, no, you can't. So this is the problem with calling them terrorists is because technically they haven't really killed anybody like in a very long fucking time. That's, I would say that that's not true even with today or with uh, this weekend for I, someone i haven't heard of a nazi killing anybody in like fucking a long time this person yeah. this weekend well, yeah, was that's a neo-nazi the, that's I what mean, i'm saying that's the first one i've heard in like basically 
I can't even think of the last one. It, it, it gets it gets sketchy yeah. on how you want to if they are part of a organized cell like the kid who blew up the church in in South Carolina. Yeah, uh, he was in his mind waving out flags and doing salutes and stuff. Now is he just acting on his own or is he part true. of a bigger thing where someone said, "Hey, we're going to make a a, a a stand today." And uh, it, it's not operating, I guess, like ISIS in terms of like they have a set leader that's yeah. sending off. Individual sure, okay, pawns yeah. to go do more. these destructive acts. Yeah. It's just sort of these individuals that try to ratchet it up to level 12 and <laughs> right. do some dumb shit that ends up taking people's lives and, and doing shit like that. Well, some of the shit that I think that could be um, fucked up is treason mm. for some mm. of these guys. Depending on what kind of what kind of signs that they're putting up, it could be treasonous. But I, 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 I haven't looked through this entire story, so I haven't seen all their signs. I'm trying to look through it now. But yeah. well, even, even still... Like I think Nazism is, is still treasonous to America, and so to me, so is like the Confederate flag. It's treasonous. I I personally I, 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 I could hear you on that. Yeah. You know something I, I I learned recently is that the Confederate flag that a lot of people that you popularly see like the with the the X and stuff the like star that and isn't even like the actual Confederate flag. That's actually the flag for General Lee. That mm, was his yeah. like war symbol whatever his flag and like the actual confederate flag is not that at all yeah. but regardless so anytime you see these group of people these neo-nazis these supremacists rallying and gathering you see the swastika flag you see the stars and bars and then unfortunately they try to throw the american flag in that oh. as if that's part of did what we're the, about did you see the flag that was made of all three? Oh yeah they did get uh, the one, the one that got me though, was there was someone who was in, I believe, the eighty second, or had a hat on uh, yeah. from the eighty second Airborne, yeah, and oh, then of yeah. course doing the Nazi salutes the, and all the, that. The military was all over his ass. Yeah, where yeah. the eighty second Airborne, I think, landed a D Day. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, or yeah, something, something like that. that. They were deeply involved in liberating the, Europe. You know, Europe. Yeah, and 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 the military was like, How "What are you doing? You disrespectful fucking cuck!" You know. Um, yeah, I mean. It's crazy. The they actually released some of the audio from the accident from the the guy running through the crowd. Yeah, and it's dude, it's fucking really hard to watch because you can hear that's, people screaming, you can hear atrocious. bodies dude, bouncing off the car. It's, it's fucking so, sad. Yeah. What I saw one news outlet do is they had multiple uh, Twitter videos of the incident. So there was literally, from what I saw, I saw six different views of one incident. Yeah, yeah. and it was like. Terrified. Yeah, people were like, like Paris, you periscoping see, it and everything. Yeah, there I saw the periscope one. There was a couple Twitter videos, but when you see this dude just plow through, like one of the videos I saw, uh, there's a guy walking away from the crowd, and you can hear an engine rev. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's, so he's, he's accelerating rev. into it. Well, no, the engine revs first. The guy turns to see what's revving, and then you see the car, and then it takes off, oh. and he follows it as it plows into the crowd and everyone that was like kind of in the way people had jumped out because the way the the person was they're on a side street away from the large crowd of people it was like looking at bourbon street when you're on one yeah. of the side streets and there's people that like jumped out of the way as he barrels down one of these side streets and, and people were screaming people were walking in the direction and the guy was coming towards so, them. yeah let's, he came, let's yeah. be really honest though i mean we've seen some vehicular uh purposeful attacks like in europe and whatnot um, we have always, in all of the Western European countries and, and in America, called this terrorism. Why is that label being not so used? forcefully used? With this, no. Well, I think there. Who wasn't calling them terrorists uh, initially? The president. Yeah. Oh well, I'm not. I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> that guy right now. Is and people like, like the president. No, no, no. no on no. his on his boat yeah, of idiotic. The proceed. thing about that dude. Is he's, he's so fucking stupid. <laughs> he is just so fucking... I, I told you. This is my my solid belief, is that he's trying to get himself impeached. And he's, it's not working, because <laughs> like this fool literally said that the the neo-Nazis and the, the people who were protested down in uh, down the South are both like guilty well, of so the Both shit. sides had violence. And I was like, yeah. in, in this instance, no, the other side clearly had no violence. Yeah. The other one killed her people. Yeah. Like, and then, what the fuck? The anti-alt-right anti, -pro the anti -alt or whatever they were calling themselves, he's they were in much smaller number than the alt-right, white nationalists, whatever it, they were. And even that, to me, is neither here nor there in terms of defending this incident, this act of terrorism where someone died. 
Yeah. You know, where someone purposely drives a vehicle into a crowd, wanting to kill multiple people, backs up and tries to leave. You know? Yeah, there's one... one. How you... Def- you can't defend that. Yeah, there's one <laughs> well, video no. I saw where they were trying to pull the guy out of the car. Well, what, what he tried to say, too, was that he's like, oh, I'm going to wait for all the facts to come out. It's like, bitch, he killed three people. Yeah. And he was a Nazi that was at the rally. Those, yeah. are, those are the facts that you need to know. It's, like, it's on film. Yeah. There's people witness. There's it's, like all this evidence. Well, it, like, and it's a softball question with the press, too. You know what I mean? It's not something that's partisan. That's it's not something that... Not, uh, Nazis are bad. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah. that's really all yeah. I had to say. Well, you don't like, need to consult your advisors about <laughs> yeah. how, how should I how should I handle this situation. He doubled, he doubled down twice yeah. on it, and yeah. it, it shit. They make video games about killing Nazis. Yep, yeah. yeah. like, BJ Blazkowicz <laughs> from uh, Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Yeah, you know uh, what was my boy from Inglorious Bastards? Uh, Lieutenant oh. Aldale Reigns, or yeah, was that was that the quote unquote the Jew? Is that what they called? No, them? the Bear Jew was another guy. Yeah, yeah that uh, was that's Eli Roth. Like yeah. I, I know awesome. that. You know, as American citizens, we all have the right to freedom of speech, but there should be a limit to, like, spewing hate. Like, there, you shouldn't have freedom of speech if you're if you're talking about hating somebody or it's kind of, you know, throw Inci- out negative shit out there. Inciting violence, you cannot do it's, yeah. under your In- freedom yeah, of speech. Exactly. Can, Inciting, I mean, promoting, encouraging violence, then that's goes in a yeah, hate riot. Sh- I know, I mean, we've seen cases of where hate speech where people have gone you know, to court about what they say. But, I mean, I think under the freedom of speech, you should be able to say whatever you want as long as it isn't directing people to do violence or harm others. Like, you can say you hate, I don't know, cartoon characters as much as you want. But then no, when you're... Two times, go. But then, nah. <laughs> but when you're saying you need... Let's attack voice actors. Yeah. That's something totally yeah. different. Yeah. I just, it, it was just a weird... I, I'm just curious... And I'm glad a lot of these other places are shutting down these these future speeches because I think it just appeared like logistically, like they had no control of the situation that was going on well, in that entire city. Well, let me just say this. There is a lot of planned events coming up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one so, coming to the Bay. There's one coming to San Francisco and I believe another one coming to Berkeley. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, They're going to Berkeley? That's like yeah. the worst spot to go. Yeah, and San Fran? I mean, yeah. that's... Well, I, and that's why I think it's like tough. Inc- I tough. think that's they're per- they want shit to pop off at, by do. going into these locations where they you do. know you have a a they do. very liberal uh, population and you want to go out there and just start spewing your crazy ideas that well, it, it, to you me you know it's gonna it's gonna be, go off as violent and it's gonna be crazy and if you are about fucking preaching whatever it is that you want to preach regardless of if you it's unpopular or whatever. Why the fuck are you showing up in riot gear? Mm, what, yeah. what what is what is having a fucking baton and a fucking police shield and fucking a full out like body armor with like phone books underneath it? What what does that have to do with you trying to tell people your opinion? What does that have to do with free speech? What are you oh, preparing shit. yourself for? You know, if, that- if you're not ready for, for shit to pop off. On, on what you're what you're about well, to say. Well, but at the same time, that's how some of these other protesters do it too, from the other side. Well, yeah, uh, the, yeah. E- either side. <laughs> yeah, they're both sides. Well, why side why, why are you getting dressed up like like the fucking juggernaut <laughs> if you are just trying to speech give a give a speech about something? Yeah, um, I believe yeah. that the whole protest for them was just to save the Confederate statues. That it was about the statue. Yeah. That's yeah. how it initially started off. Yeah. But the pro- Friday night was one of the incidents where there was anti-protesters. And then they get surrounded, and then they start getting beat on. Just remove all those motherfucking participation trophy statues. Yeah, and it, it, it's, 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 this is the. I don't even care if it's in a fucking museum. Melt that shit down <laughs> or whatever. The ones we've talked about this a bunch of times. The ones on government property hmm. are an issue. Yeah, and and the other thing that I also want to point out: most of them weren't put up right after the Civil War. Most of them were put up in the 20th century during Reconstruction and Jim Crow. Like 1920s, 1930s and whatnot. Years after the Civil War and whatnot. Years after some of these folks were even dead. Yeah, It's it's ridiculous. And I try to do a little research on some of the some of these statues just to kind of get a backstory of who these people were and a lot of them weren't that great of people. No, of course yeah. not. <laughs> and, 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 and do you think that these uh, these people that have these statues, would they be standing for the national anthem? Oh, wow. They, 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 yeah. they wouldn't, yeah. No, well, but, no, but that's, they, that's, the, that's their li- problem also. Li- li- Stand for this flag, but we're going to keep this statue <laughs> up and revere this person that wanted to kill fucking well, for for going against America. Literally, you're talking about treason. I mean, that, that yeah. textbook definition, treason yeah. and separation from the United States. And wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was just... 
craziness all around. And then I'm just more concerned about more rallies popping up across the nation. Where it's happening. Where there's probably going to be more violence. And uh, I'm just glad that there are no children involved, as far as that I know. Yeah. I haven't well, seen anything about small children being I don't, hurt. I, I don't have the full list of who was hurt quite yeah, yet. But yeah. she, the, the lady that... Uh, I got killed. She was like a college student. Yeah, she, wasn't, she was she like, like early twenties. Yeah. yeah, early twenties. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Yeah, and she was white too. Managed to kill a white person. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's that's fucking ironically mm-hmm. ironic and fucked up. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that like clan members or something killed a white person for for standing up for a black oh, yeah. person. So. Yeah. Or standing with them or whatnot. Yeah. Well, cool. don't get it twisted. They hate <laughs> a lot more than just black people. Oh, a lot yeah. more than just Mexicans. It's gay people, it's oh, people, Jewish their, folks. Their new thing is Muslims. Yeah, it's people who are Catholic. I mean, it, yeah. it goes a it goes wide... Deep. Yeah, extra deep. The, heat, the hate does not, like, stop exclusively on just one, quote-unquote, group of people. No, yeah. I was thinking, too, like, if they want to wave the Confederate flag, they should wave also, like, the, the Spanish flag or, like, the Mexican flag, because, you know, those, those oh, people the lost French, their lands, too, and French people... The French like, flag as well, yeah. They, they don't so, give a fuck. Yeah. That would require them to understand history. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> God, asking damn. too much. Fucking rewriting history. God, damn. damn. All right, yeah. any other last... Uh, no, I, last... I just think that this is... Uh, this is going to continue, unfortunately. Oh, oh yeah. We haven't seen the sure. last of this type of bullshit behavior. I, unfortunately, I, I agree with well, that. I, wanna, I also want to say, if you if you turn a blind eye to all this and you think like, oh, you know, let them speak. Just if you ignore it, it'll just go away. You're you're yeah. fucking dumb. That's this, how that's how we got here. Yeah, it, it, it's going to get it's going to escalate more because you know if if it's a small group, they're going to eventually yeah. keep growing into a bigger and bigger group. So you need yeah. to shut that. Well, shit they want to be legit. They want to be legitimate. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, we don't have and we don't have anybody who's actually in a position of authority to stop this. It seems like the person who could stop this is encouraging it. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, it's the same fucked up shit that we saw with, uh, you know, in, inner city issues that just keep going on. They, they keep passing the buck. You know, every goddamn presidential election, they just pass the buck. They want to talk about how they're going to help poor people in places where we have high violence and nobody fucking does anything. This is just, this is a very similar problem. Very similar problem. Like, everybody thought that when our, you know, our last president got elected that he was going to really help out all these problems, but nothing got fucking fixed. Nothing even got touched. You know what I mean? Like, we still have very poor education in a... Uh, in inner cities, we still have fucking uh, food deserts where you can't even find a goddamn grocery store. You still have places where you, you, you like you can't even find a fucking job, mm-hmm. and nobody's fixed that at all. And it just keeps getting worse and fucking worse. So the o- the only thing I'll say though, real quick, the only thing I'll say is, even with that being the case, it's never an excuse for violence. Oh no, you know no, what no, I mean? It's, like it's yeah, just because you're poor and, and no, got shitty no, no. grocery stores, you shouldn't be doing violence. I don't but, care who you are. But it's gonna it's gonna cause people to be angry because yeah. if, if you're growing up in squalor. And you can't fucking get out of there. I agree with that. You know what I mean? And it's literally the odds are stacked against them from birth if they're born in that environment. Yeah. And do nobody's you, fucking helping them. Do you feel that the all um, all black... Oh, what is it called? Black the all right. right? Or alt right. No, no. The Black Life Matter uh, uh, group. You think... Do you feel that they could be like the new version of the Black Panthers? No, 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 no. I feel they're, like they're, they're way too disorganized. They're, or, they're all... They're fu- I'll say it. They're fucking awful. They're awful. They've incited violence before. The shit they're asking for is fucking stupid. They have no fucking leader. They have nobody that's leading people to do anything that's constructive. Yeah. So if they had something like that, then that'd be great. But they have literally criminals in their organization that are in, that are in high positions that are t- stealing money from fucking colleges and shit like that and calling for violence. And that's not what... I mean, Black Panthers, obviously, they, they had some violence as well. But it was for shit like... Um, like they want to keep guns and for, for protection. It right. wasn't for dumb shit. And they were fighting for fucking real rights. Yeah. Like right now we have the, the same rights as everybody else. Yeah. And that's that's one of the problems that I have with that movement. Yeah. I just so. consider Black Lives Matter a hashtag. It's a hashtag yeah. that people just get behind and just say I'm I'm down with this. A, a hashtag and a T-shirt that people just throw on and, and pretend like they're down with with yeah. the movement. When, <laughs> I feel like people, it, 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 no, it, it's I, to me it's personally disgraceful for like actual civil rights movements that in groups that happened totally and agree. did shit back in the day. Yeah. See, I, this like I was saying, uh, there's well, Crows said it too. They're they're kind of like headless. There's no every time people try to point out a leader for the Black Lives Matter movement, it's always someone different. And then they claim themselves that they're not a leader, that they're just, you know, in it. Like Tommy Loren, she kept pointing out, like, this one person, that person themselves was like, I'm, I'm not a leader. Like, he claimed to be, but then he goes to jail. Then they have, like, four other people that are leaders, in it, and they come come out and say, like, no, I was just, you know, 
a cog in the wheel or whatever. Well, I think that's a problem with uh, the black community in general is that we haven't had a real fucking solid leader in a real fucking long time. Like, Shit, the, for real. like Pat Riley. Like, like what? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> uh, Michael Gumble. <laughs> Holy shit. No, there's, like, there's, there's like nobody. Especially, I was like, wait, what? Especially somebody that doesn't have a, a certain amount, a certain layer of scum already on them. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I think uh, Martin Luther King Jr. might have been the last one. Like, I don't put fucking. Al what's Sharpton. the guy's? Al Sharpton up there. I don't oh, put Jesse no. fucking Jackson, Jackson up there. Like, we're basically leaderless. Not that we need a fucking leader, but, no. you know, everybody else has, has some sort of leader. You know, it'd be nice to have somebody to look up to. And uh, we're just not getting it. I mean, you think of the Tina Turner song. We don't need another hero. Yeah, I mean, some people might think, you know, oh, we, you know, we had Barack Obama. But, I mean, not really, to be honest with you. Well, that I mean, was, a, that was, was a president. That's he was very, a president, yeah. That's very different from a, a civil rights leader. Right. Yeah. But, like, but he had the opportunity to definitely right some wrongs. And it just didn't happen. I as far as I'm concerned, I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you that. It's a hard job, though, being a president. Though. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's, a, it's a shitty. Nobody should want that fucking job. Yeah. Uh, nobody should want that. A job. lot of people do, and Trump wanted it, and got it, and he doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> so that's like chasing after them thick, thick girls, and finally get one. And you don't know how to go deep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, where else are we going, gentlemen? What else we got? Where All right. Uh, yeah, let, actually, you know what? I'm taking it. Sam Jackson mm. has got a legitimate beef in my mind with the MCU and Disney. He is not going to be in Avengers 3. He is not going to be in Avengers 4. He will also not be in Black Panther. Um, Motherfucker! <laughs> Sam Jackson, for those of you who don't but know... He will be oh, hold on, hold on, motherfucker! Hold on. Sam Jackson, for those of you who don't know, was actually the biggest star in the MCU when this started. Bigger than Chris Evans. Bigger than Robert Downey fucking Jr., Obviously bigger than ScarJo and anybody else when this shit started in 08. They ain't putting respect on his goddamn name right now. He needs to be in Avengers. Is there, do we know why? Well, does it, for me, it doesn't, they've made a mistake and I don't care about their reasons. Is, unless they have. Is it scheduling truly, conflicts? Because it doesn't he, sound it, like it because he has beef with them. He's calling them out right okay. now. Because, I mean, he's in everything. He's, yeah. he's, 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 he's a, constantly doing a lot of projects. He has a but movie he makes, this weekend. He makes room for things that are in I I, I don't know. That's why, I, that's why I'm asking. I'm like, is it a scheduling conflict? Uh, I, for if, three movies? No. Well, I mean, look. They I, had a scheduling conflict with Goddamn Superman. And they're CG, CGIing out his fucking mustache. Yeah. They can make room for fucking Sam Jackson. Dis, remember what I said. The biggest name. The only real household, true household superstar, because Robert Downey Jr. had a lot of issues before Iron Man, mm -hmm. was Sam Jackson. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, well, in the first Iron Man, he has a cameo. Doesn't, but I'm just saying, MCU wise, he was the biggest name. Am I wrong about that? What, if you got another what, name, what, what, speak up. What did he actually say in reference to the beef? I was like, what, what, do we know? Do we have a quote? I don't quote have from the him? exact quote, but his quote was, "I'm not in it and I'm not happy." Well, no, I'm upset. In the in the movie, Paraphrase. his character... <laughs> <laughs> his he he bend it over the old ninja speculation. I'm speculating, <laughs> but this was a real real story. Okay. Is his character in the last... Was his character in the last Avenger movie? We haven't seen him Hold since... On. Well, no, well, the Kennedy character was character, not in Civil War. His character died. No, well, he came they back. He pretended Winter, to die. Yeah. Winter Soldier or Age of Ultron was the last time we saw him. Okay, yeah, okay. Age yeah. of Ultron. Probably Age I, of I Ultron. I know he was in um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. where he passed yeah, the mantle was, of uh, But that was right after, that was right after Winter Soldier, though. The, the other thing is, without, right without, Winter so or without Sam Jackson's Nick Fury, you don't have anybody with any strategy or, you know, experience. I mean, Cap was in the military, but he was low level. He, he wasn't, wasn't even there to have, for that long. And he wasn't there for that long. I mean, <laughs> so he got frozen. this is a career spy, military service, awesome strategic thinker and whatnot. You, I can quote him if you want. Go ahead. Quote the motherfucker. So this is what Samuel L. Jackson said. He said, I wasn't in the super quote unquote superhero argument movie in re reference to Captain America Civil War. Mm -hmm. I wasn't in Avengers 3 and 4. Oh, I said, I am not in Avengers 3 and 4. They're shooting them now and they haven't called me yet. They wouldn't. They wouldn't let me go to Black, Black Pantherville. So it's kind of Black like, Pantherville. <laughs> that's what yeah. he called it. So it's kind of like <laughs> you're gonna make a Black Marvel movie and not let Nick Fury show up in it. And he was like, "What the fuck?" You know? Yeah. I mean, I I respect that Black Panther because it's off. Like it's not in the U.S. It's in Wakanda, which we haven't seen, and there's a whole lot of origin story stuff we have to get in there. I can understand why he's not 
in Black Panther, maybe depending on that story. But Avengers is just fucked up. That's disrespectful. Uh, I mean, come on, speak uh, up. Well, okay, well, uh, my, and, and I'm still obviously getting all information out. I don't see how he would fit into the Thanos uh, battle. Like, what's he gonna do? Uh, it's not that well, he's battling it's Thanos. It's pl- planetary defense with Shield. Yeah, I mean, okay, and strategy. Yeah. Like nobody, Tony Stark is a brilliant inventor and and obviously has his suit. Is he a strategy guy for leading militaries or leading uh, a battle plan? No. Cap can do it on the boots on the ground level. But other than that, no. Black Widow, you, you know she ain't shit. You know what I mean? No, <laughs> but have, Hawkeye, have the, come have on now. Has the shield even been in any of the no. MCUs after? No, no really. it hasn't. It has Maria been. Christina Hill isn't even, all, uh, to, yeah, to my knowledge, missing. in it. No, okay, let, let's just play the what-if game. Let's say, hypothetically, Nick Fury was in Civil War. Then he's, he's... Wait, he is in Civil War. In no, a, he ain't. No, he's not. No. He just you, said it. God damn it. Civil War. You mean Infinity War? No. Civil, Civil War, War, he is not in. And in, just in Infinity War, he's not going to be. English, in. motherfucker! Do you yeah. speak it? Is he, um, a, is he in the comics, though? Well, I mean, yeah. he's all over the comics. Yeah. But, I mean, white Nick Fury, black Nick Fury, there's okay, all of them. But, okay, there, that would be a huge sort of plot question, I guess, if he was in Civil War. Because... Essentially, Civil War came about who knew what and when did you know everything. Mm-hmm. And essentially, Fury knows everything. He's known it from day one. So that would have been interesting to see. Yes. When did Fury know? Why didn't Fury say shit? And blah, blah, blah. I think that might have been a little bit confused. Not to make excuses for these fucking writers because that's your job. Write this shit. Make they it, make it fucking work. Um, I just think maybe they're trying to just ignore <laughs> where Fury's at. I have no idea. It doesn't make any sense to me. Well, I agree and, with you. And he's in Captain Marvel. So yeah, like, I, oh yeah, I, really, yeah. I don't know what's gonna. But that's 2019, and it's supposed to take place in the 90s. Yeah, which I mean, is weird. I, and I'm okay with him, you know, teaming up, I guess, in ain't shit as Brie Larson movie. But what the fuck? Um, but Avengers, man, he's been in both Avengers. He's supposed to be in the Avengers. The whole reason why they defeated Loki was because he was the rallying cry and getting them to organize and form the Avengers Initiative. Tony didn't do that shit. Well then, tweet- Nick Fury did. Tweet at Kevin Feige and Disney and yeah, I want. I'm curious. I'm curious to hear their response to his comments. I'd be very interested to hear what they have to say if, in terms of that. So you're not willing to go out on a limb and say this seem, smells like a fucked I, up situation. I want to hear both sides of the argument. God damn. Obviously, <laughs> Sam Jackson lays what, what it is, and okay. If he's very, going public, there's 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 a problem. Okay, obviously there's a problem because he's not in the goddamn movies. So if he's saying, "Why haven't y'all called me?" I'm looking at the other side and saying, "Why haven't you called him?" And so I'm looking at them like, "Why haven't you called?" So you're asking. I'm telling y'all fucked Why up for you, not. So telling. you're speculating. <laughs> I'm not speculating. I'm going by what he's saying, and it's it's the truth. It's two, on IMDb. It's two, two sides, motherfucker. Two three Fuck sides every side. <laughs> yeah, there's three West sides every side. Tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> Their side, that side, and the truth. You going on one side? You speculating? No, God no. Dang. The truth is, he ain't in it so far. He ain't lying. You don't know yeah. why. But he, fuck, he ain't lying. He ain't in it. Well, we know that. <laughs> That's how's that two sides? Well, we don't know why they haven't called him. I don't give a fuck about the why. <laughs> <laughs> Do you it. want yeah, answers? I know the why. Why are we even having a topic? Why. Thank you. So you just report news. Hey, Samuel L. Jackson I'm isn't in only, Civil War. Thank you, Prodigy, for letting us know. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> This shit. I'm telling you that it's fucked up. You're going to say it's dark outside, too. Hey, and it's fucked you, up and you, dark. You, yeah. you, you, hey, you a broke-ass weather man. You a broke-ass weather man. It, it, so. it rained today. Oh, Thank shit. you for your news yeah. segment. Now back to the studio. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> it's ready. Sound wave. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. You just do Ollie Jack or Ollie? Yeah. <laughs> the weather man? Yeah. Oh, shit. Let's go out to Acker Alley, you know? In the weather van. Oh, oh man. It's raining sideways. Is that the name of this podcast? It's raining sideways. <laughs> did um did K Mac want to talk about the, the Taylor Swift thing? Um I didn't get a chance to put it on the list. I don't even understand this. Oh man. She might get she might get micro angry at you. Yeah. She might just might. All right, well, you can't, okay, you well, can't talk while about her Tay Tay. While he's setting that up. While he's setting that up. Uh I got one retraction. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. I'm eat some crow. We did. <laughs> you want to eat some crow? Shh, shh, shh. I want to hear this. I want to hear this. It's going so, good. Uh, in- inclination on Twitter, you put me on blast from uh, this past week, where I, I might have sort of kind of said some uh, stuff about Brie Larson and Captain Marvel, mm-hmm. and talked some shit about uh, her wanting to fight the Hulk. Mm-hmm. Well, it turns out um, there's a whole like eight or nine MCU 
actors that have also wanted to fight the Hulk before. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. And they're all losers. Yeah. <laughs> there's a long history and a long mm-hmm. line. And he corrected me. I'll, I'll give him I'll give him his props. He corrected me and showed he hit me up with like 15 articles of other folks saying, "Oh, I want to fight the Hulk." Mm-hmm. Everybody and in the MCU was, movie and wants and to do that shit. And you was all up in your feelings. She still ain't shit. You was still up in your feelings. Nobody seen the room. So, so, who, who is she though? Who's it? You yeah. know, the room is actually on, um, I, I want to say it's on Amazon Prime right now for free. And I was going to watch it. I was like, ah, I don't feel Yeah, like yeah. You and, like, you and like everybody else on this planet don't want to see that fucking movie. <laughs> Academy Award, my fucking ass. Don't but anyway, get mad just because she tried to fight the whole Inclination, uh, you were right. I'll give you your props, oh, man. Oh, yeah. You know. And look, I can how admit. Bad, how bad does that hurt? Don't hurt. <laughs> don't hurt. She still ain't shit. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. What else respect? We got? I thought you was respecting out here. I well, guess I'm gonna not. take the wheel here. So on Monday, I took the liberty of going to check out Batman and Harley Quinn DC movie that got released through Phantom. Phantom, Phantom, Phantom event. Fathom. Phantom. Fathom. 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 Goddamn, like never, going underwater can, and shit. Can, I can never pronounce that word right. <laughs> but um, yeah. So it was a a movie release. Um, it comes out. Actually, I don't know when it comes out. Uh, it comes out. I think next weekend or next Friday. Um, I went to go see it. And I have to say, this movie was not that great, man. Oh. oh, it was. Have you have you did you guys ever watch um, the Killing Joke? Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. It's as bad as that. Oh. Killing Joke wasn't that great, but it um, wasn't that great. I, I still enjoyed it. Yeah, though. I mean the movie was still enjoyable. Um, it had like some quirky, some fun moments. Uh, what they did is they they took the animation style from like the new Batman Adventures and um, and Justice League, and they used that that style of animation, and it's just. The animation wasn't that great at sometimes. Like sometimes the animation kind of cuts out, and like Batman's symbol on his chest would kind of get blurry sometimes. Oh, no. or, yeah. So they fucked up on that end. Um, so it actually has a pretty. It's, it, well, it's out now because it came out on the fourteenth. Okay, okay, it is out. Yeah, yeah, and it actually has a decent review. What's decent? What it, number? It's got like an eight. eight yeah, out of 10. I, is I that give it IMDb a, or Rotten Tomato or eighty-five uh, percent of people liked it. Okay, so. I give it a six point five, and Ooh. so. I mean, there. I mean, there was parts of it that were funny. Like there was a lot of in in your in the windows. I can't ever say that. Is that right? In, in, in your windows. In, in your windows. <laughs> in your windows. <laughs> there was, like, a lot of, to the wall. <laughs> to, the windows, to the wall. To the sweat drop. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of stuff that was like really funny. Um, Harley Quinn definitely was hilarious. Um, the girl who does her voice is uh, Melissa Ranch. And she's the the blonde chick from the Big Bang Theory, and she was she did a pretty good job at doing that character, considering like that kind of role that uh, Arlene Shorkin does normally for yeah. for a Harley Quinn. Yeah. But uh, they, I don't want to say like they over sexualized her, but they kind of over sexualized her. Like, but don't they always though? But it was like kind of like over the top. <laughs> or, it was what? like overly done. It was it was it was kind of they're kind of pushing it like the sexuality mm. of Harley Quinn. Which was kind of annoying, um, but another problem I had is the the mask they have for Nightwing was kind of annoying. Like whenever you saw him from straight on, it looks like he didn't have a nose and he just had like this triangle on his face. Uh, what other things? There's also a scene that it's been kind of trending on the internet where uh, Harley Quinn basically rapes Nightwing. So there's a scene where she has him tied up to his bed, fucking spread eagle style. And she's like changing her clothes and she bends over and he pops a boner. And she's like, oh, I know where this is going. And she turns off the lights and she'll, I mean, he kind of consents to it, but like he's tied down to the bed and she was going to do it if he liked it or not. But, um, uh, is this animated by somebody different than who normally? I don't know the details. Yeah. See, look, you see how his legs are like spread open, like full on. Like, he's, like, tied down to the bed and everything, too. But, I mean, he kind of consents to it at the end. But, uh, he yeah. He consents was... in the end, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's... After he finishes. Yeah, basically. After, but, uh, after she finishes. Oh. <laughs> there's some, I mean, there was some, like, the movie was good. It's, I would definitely say it's worth renting, not worth buying. Um, but, uh, like, there's a scene where Harley Quinn, she works in a superhero-themed restaurant. And she plays, she dresses up as herself. But, like, there's other female characters. Like, uh, we see, um... Uh, Vixen is in there. We see Starfire. We see a woman dressed up as one. So it's not the actual characters, but it's people dressed up as them. Like you know how, like in Japan, how they have those cosplay themed restaurants where people yeah. dress up as the characters. So there was that. Nice. 
trap sometimes too. Yep. Oh, oh god, no dang. Well, uh, real quick, how much? Angry. How much were the tickets for this event? Um, they were basically uh, it's normal like tickets. twelve dollars. Yeah. Oh, I figured they charge more because they're oh. like funky events. You uh, never been to a Fathom? Fathom they no. actually do some really good shit. I've seen. Uh, I watched a live rock show through mm. Fathom, and then I watched a bunch of anime movies. Yeah, I've been thinking about it because there's a lot of events that are like you know one time only type thing, and they're live. So I'm like wondering what the pricing was. No, but... they're, they're usually not bad. Okay, yeah, but so, um. Oh. There's also a bunch of Easter eggs in the game too. Like they brought back some of the old villains uh, from the Batman animated series. They actually had the old the animated series Batmobile that Batman drove, which was oh. fucking cool. But um, they had there's like a scene where they're inside of a bar and like uh, some of the villains they're in a villains bar and some of the villains are dancing like um, how Adam West danced in that one video where he's oh, like oh yeah like, he does, yeah, he does yeah, like yeah, the little yeah. thing like that. So it's a, a cool <laughs> awesome. nod to him. But like there's a scene where. Batman gets into a fight with everybody in a thing, and they do the old school like wham, bam, like the sign, the oh, okay. words pop up. Thank that you, was ma'am. Cool. Yeah. Damn. Um, but like, yeah, the, the, a lot of the jokes that were in the movie too were kind of like, kind of they came out of nowhere. They they use fort jokes to kind of make shit funny. Fart jokes? Yeah, like there's but a scene where yeah, yeah, I like, thought it was in fort. I'm like, what? There's a scene where Harley Quinn farts in the Batmobile. All Charles right. Was. And Batman, Batman's like, oh, that's discipline. No, he said it smelled like discipline because Nightwing wanted him to like open the window or pull over or some shit like that. So, wow. It, the movie, it was like I said, it was it was interesting and fun, but it's it was too it was too cheesy. Like it just didn't feel like a Batman movie. There wasn't no like action. Uh, a lot of the animation was kind of bad, like I said. But overall, I give it a, a six point five for the movie, All which right, is at right. the same level as Homecoming. All right. So if you if you haven't noticed, we have a lady on the podcast now. Actually, everybody noticed when you walked in. So, um, uh, our viewership spike. Yeah, <laughs> I should put now the lady. We get like a hundred fucking subs. But anyway, uh, Mahai Blurred says you're sorry. Earth Girl Kmac is on the podcast, Damn. so welcome her to the podcast. And Mahai Blurred said oh, we that need the applause like button. The pee hole episode that you guys had was dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, poor Lilo. Not know where the pee hole is for on a lady's body. Good grief. Wow. We had an anatomy lesson going on in our last episode. It was pretty great. Was I felt a... bad laughing at her. Yeah, it's all good. I laugh all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I just shake my head. Damn. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that don't know where the pee hole is on a female. I know what the fuck it is. <laughs> I'm just saying. I tell you, I probably, I probably well, we, learned about it a couple I'll of years tell you ago this. where exactly it is. We don't pee out of our vagina. Yeah, it's a, a little Kay. misconception that a lot of people believe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like Prodigy should be hearing this. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Girls don't pee. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shit on the flow. So <laughs> you gotta hurry up with this because my weed's kicking in. So. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> took an edible. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Just oh, for uh, you need to share for the class. No. <laughs> I guess this week um, there was a, a civil suit that took place between uh, Taylor Swift and a radio DJ. A radio DJ and Taylor Swift. And moving on. Tell us away. Yeah, the, the radio DJ sued. Mm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, did I say something? Did you, said, uh, you said Taylor. Taylor Swift. In versus, uh, well, you put the first, you put her first, but it was like the other way. Anyway, oh, okay. Fucking well, keep going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Read it. Yeah. It she, counter, read she countered sued, so yeah. it's valid. Okay. So um, there was a, a civil trial between uh, this DJ and Taylor Swift. Um, the DJ uh, alleged that he suffered damages from Taylor Swift getting him fired through an incident where he had groped uh, Taylor Swift during a, a um, photo session. Um, he had, I guess, put his hand on her on her ass or up her skirt, something of that nature. Uh, she reported it to her security team, which then contacted the DJ's employer, and uh, he was removed from his job and everything. Eventually, he decided that this wasn't fair for some fucking... Well, he said that he didn't do it. So he was claiming innocence. Okay. That's that was the main thing. Okay. And we, she didn't tell he, No guy? She told her mom about it and her mom was the one that kind of went and got We think her mom acts as her manager. Yeah. So Yeah, just her management team or whatever. And uh they I feel like I'm backtracking. Um So he got fired. He got he essentially got fired. Um he sued. She countersued and um they passed judgment and they dismissed his suit and awarded Taylor um, a victory in the civil case for a dollar. Um, it was being pronounced as a uh, symbolic victory for Taylor and... Uh, what did he grab? Well, 
<laughs> oh, I almost called you by your government name. <laughs> I'm a fucking Like, dick. you almost just got scared. Oh, boy. Like, are you for real? <laughs> jump, jump over this table. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I would have done. I would have walked into the fucking courthouse and been like, how could I have possibly grabbed this non-existent thing? Oh. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, Max, fucking angry. This didn't turn out how you thought it was going to. <laughs> um... <laughs> so and I guess there was there was video. I didn't really see all the evidence that was presented at the actual uh, hearing, but I guess there was video and photos of the incident that said, yeah, it did fucking actually happen. The ass was grabbed, touched without permission, and everything. My personal issue with the whole um, everything that transpired with it is how it's being labeled as a symbolic victory. Um, now, I've I've spoken to a lot of people, and I understand that obviously. I'm not a woman, so I don't want to come out with talking talking out of pocket. But I do understand that women reporting sexual assaults and crimes is a, is a really uphill battle for them in terms of public perception, uh, where they're made out to be the victim in terms of like, well, what she what was she wearing? What was she doing beforehand? We, uh, well, what's her sexual history like? And How et big cetera, is her ass? <laughs> et, cetera, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I, I, I'm not trying to downplay that whole aspect of it. I just think that the approach um, to go after this person could have been done a little bit uh, harsher and more drastic. Um, I'll let you jump in on on that whole aspect of it before I, I, I guess, go in because I don't want to monologue. I want to let... I mean, you understand, and yet you're shitting on her decision that she made. So, I mean, look, whether or not I agree with the decision that she made, it, it doesn't matter, Right. Whether I agree that she didn't report it to the police or, you know, you know what I mean? Okay. What I'm trying to say. But seriously, you already touched upon why it is that women don't report sexual assaults. A lot of women and a lot of men that are sexually assaulted don't report sexual assaults for different reasons. It's total bullshit, but it is what it is at this point. So I, I don't know. I don't I don't really understand your beef. Because you say that you understand that women don't report sexual assaults because of X, Y, Z. And yet, because it's Taylor Swift, you're going to jump all over no. the fact that she didn't do it herself. Because that was your main issue. My, my main issue was, okay, the, symb the symbolic outcome was that she won a dollar. Do... I, I know the DJ's well, name. Does anybody does and, anybody here know the DJ's name? And, and the guy stayed fired. I mean, well, okay, yeah, you'll get fired regardless yeah. of if you go no, to. No, well, no. I mean, if 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 you'd have been found not get, like if he'd have been found, I guess if you'd have won the suit, he probably would have got his job back. Right, but he sued her yeah. two years yeah. after he was fired. The dollar was her counter sue. Right. Because what he said, he didn't say that he didn't do it necessarily. He said that his hand was on her rib cage, not on her ass. Well, that's, that means you didn't do it. Well, so. but I guess I guess when I when I think like, oh, I didn't do this, it's like my well, hands no. didn't touch her at all. Well, no, there's a picture. There's clearly a picture of him. There is there, a picture. But it's right, like he was saying that he, he didn't lost. Grab, yeah. And why she won her counter. Well, but suit. in that picture though, it doesn't show him grabbing her ass. That's the thing. There was other pictures that. I guess showed our videos or other evidence that we weren't privy to because the picture that I saw, um, I didn't think there was he was grabbing her ass. So okay, well, I mean, either either way, if you go into some his sort, his hand if, was back there. If you go into a trial, hmm. I mean, the whole motion of discovery is they're supposed to exchange evidence. So once you see it, you should be like, oh shit, well there, this picture does exist where you're touching her ass. My whole thing is that yeah, she was saying that it was up her skirt, and from right here, it doesn't look like it's up the skirt. But like I said, I like I don't, I don't know. My, There's other pictures. So my my whole thing is even if you don't report it as to the police right away, and essentially he was the one that that provoked this into becoming a big deal. She didn't take uh, call the police right away or anything like that, which I'm not assigning sort of blame to, but she did file a countersuit. And I think the best way personally to prevent people like this from have from doing this behavior is you hang them out to dry and you embarrass them in public. For example, and she did that with the dollar thing. How? Well, no, no. The reason yeah, why? Because she's, no, no. She's no. like going after him for a bunch of money. She's like, look, this I, is I, how I, below me you are. Yeah, I, I gonna, don't. That's the first I'm a, part. Though. I'm going to charge you for one dollar. No, but the problem is though is that she didn't do it to begin with. She was. It was a counter sue. I know. So but if, so if if, she, if he would have never sued her, it would have never been hit the light of day. Right. 
she would have just been fine with it being swept under the rug. Yeah. And that, for me, that's a problem. I, th- I think it had even after the he came out, it been like, okay, there's no statute of limitations on sexual assault or rape. Obviously, this is not a rape, but sexual assault in battery, if you want to, however the lines uh, divvy up with it. But um, in terms of this actually deterring this sort of behavior from ever happening again, you, you you just put this guy out publicly and you embarrass him. I mean, if you if you want to say, hey, you're not going to do this to me, show show that the system is either working for women or that it's not working for women. I don't think that winning a dollar amount in a civil case shows that the the system worked for women. A dollar is just essentially a dollar. If you if she had to took it to court and let's say it the system finds him not guilty, she can stand up there and be like, hey. I presented evidence. I showed a photo. I showed a video of me, Taylor Swift, not, not to say like megastar in her in her press conference, well, but saying, yeah. well, she is a megastar, <laughs> but I, I don't want her to be like, hey, I'm a megastar. Look at what happened to me. But her going out there and saying, hey, I'm a woman just like all these other women around here. And I have all this publicity, fame, money, and this court system still does not respect me where I have video evidence of somebody putting their hands on me unwanted. Show the system's fucking, fucking broken. We... we had what like two years ago a year and a half ago the whole brock turner thing where somebody essentially was raping somebody gets a slap on the wrist and the judge thinks it's 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 all fine and dandy i i think you need to show that the system does not work for women in order to fix it i i think that yeah she won and her winning a dollar is okay but we're 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 not going to remember this guy's name. We're going to forget about this story in a, in, a, in a couple months. I think something, it would have spoke more volumes if she had have taken it all the way and been like, all right, I'm, I'm going to charge you with sexual assault or, or sexual battery. And if and if it doesn't work in my favor, then I'm going to, we're everyone's going to see all the evidence that was laid out and about how you are enabling men to put their hands on women and there's no consequences or repercussions for their actions. Or if it does work, then you see that, hey, I'm Taylor Swift. It worked. Women, report, do like how I did. Don't just let people touch you go unreported and and pass it on as boys being boys or or whatever and just swat the hand away. Either show, take it to the full extent, show show that the system is broken, or try to show that the system does work in your favor. I think this middle ground where just taking into a civil court and winning a dollar. Well, she, and she didn't take it. Well, not, I mean, the doing yeah. the counter the the counter suit, just going after a dollar, and then previously, uh, beforehand. Uh, before the, the actual monetary value was released, saying, oh, well, whatever I get in my countersuit, I'm going to donate to women's sh- uh, special advocation groups for... for um, Why does it always have to be more? Women. You like you keep going on and on. Well, she should have sued for more money, or she should have been sued for more money and then donated her money. She did what she felt she needed to do at the time by reporting it to her management and getting the guy fired. To her... Potentially, that was over, okay. right? You can't dictate how somebody is going to move on past some kind of sexual assault, whether it's somebody inappropriately touching you or somebody molesting you or somebody raping you, right? You can't dictate how she is going to react to that, how she is going to deal with it. Okay. I'm not done. Okay. No, I'm, I'm saying okay. <laughs> no. I, I, Are you getting the finger? No, no. I, I agree with that part. My issue is announcing it as being a sub- symbolic victory for women. That's where I'm like, I tilt my head at. But it is. This guy tried to sue her, even though he's the one that grabbed her ass, right? So there's that first. And wait, she didn't it, it need even to about, sue him for a whole bunch of money. It wasn't even about grabbing asses. It's because he lost because his job. Because he lost his job. That's what it's right. all about. It wasn't even about grabbing her ass. It's just because he lost his job. And so he felt like But if you walk backwards through it, he lost his job because yeah. he did that and mm. she reported it, right? So even if she didn't report it to the police at the time, and maybe she felt like it wasn't a big enough crime. Maybe she felt like there are actual rapes happening. There are actual other things happening. To her, maybe it wasn't as big of a deal, right? You can't dictate how she reacts to this, how she needed to handle that. She did it the way she felt like she needed to. It wouldn't have even come into the court system. It wouldn't have even been on our radar had this guy not tried to sue her. The counter sue for a dollar was just to show, I'm right. This, and did you even look at the like the line of questioning that she was hit with? She had to like consistently go back and defend herself. And there is still that line of questioning about provoking her. Well, why did you why did you still pose for this picture? Oh, you're cozying up to his girlfriend instead. There's still that kind of line 
of questioning that she's not the victim, that she instigated this. So that well, is wrong. Well, hold on, because in a courtroom, you, if you're, you're found not guilty, you're right. Yeah, and you're innocent until it's, proven guilty. So you still. can't. So you can't do that. They, they well, have not to, in a civil court. In a civil court, you have to be beyond the the uh, preponderance. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. But they they still need to question her in a normal manner. You know what I mean? They, they can't just be like, oh, well, just because you said this, then we can't question her in a certain manner. Like, because it is kind of weird if, if you if if somebody did grab your ass or sexually assault you, and all of a sudden you're cool with like the girlfriend hanging out and shit like that, and mm. you go along your normal day. She wasn't cool with. It. The, the picture that you showed, yeah. there was a girl on the other side. That was the DJ's girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And she was closer to that the, to the chick in the picture mm-hmm. because he was grabbing her ass. That's that's right. all I'm saying. But you still have to ask questions like that. Right. But but all of those questions, that's the same questions that women get anytime that there's that there's a sexual assault. Yeah, reporting. because there's you want to know why is because there's times where women falsely claim sexual assault. And, and it fucking happens. I totally agree that that's bullshit. But the line of questioning of a woman who's been sexually assaulted that, makes uh, it sound like they provoked the attack. No, it's it's a line of questioning to prove whether or not they were sexually assaulted. You're coming about mm. it like kind of the wrong way because you're saying automatically that she was sexually Obviously, we know she was sexually assaulted, all right, because she, the, the guy was found guilty. Or I guess yeah. they were, it was in her favor. But in general, they have to ask those questions to find out if there actually was sexually a sexual assault committed. And I understand that part. Like, you can't go in and be like, well, because a woman said that she was sexually assaulted, that's that it happened. That's not what I'm saying. But that's what you said. But that's not what I said. Yeah, it I is. I said it was the specific line of questioning that, that's being thrown at her. And that's a normal line of questioning for sexual assault. Okay. My, my, my thing is, if you are found not liable in a civil case, then you didn't do it. You won. You were right. So... Throwing a dollar figure on it doesn't say how right you were. Well, no, the, the reason why we know that she was... Is because he was fucking stupid. Because he... Obviously, he did it. It's obvious now. Well, yeah. And she didn't sue him. And so, that was, a, that was the thing. Is that he was like, I need to get, you know, my career back on track. I'm going to sue her for money so I can get my life back together. Even though he, he knew he was guilty. Right? And so, it, it was her counter sue. That was the counter suit was that was what was symbolic. So I understand that it's, part of what came back saying. But the dollar is symbolic in itself because if if she had sued him for a million dollars, you know what people would be focused on? That million dollars. Well, she said previously that any all of her all of, all of her uh anything that she was awarded was going to go to help uh women who were victims of sexual assault. You said and she, she whole, turned around. A whole dollar I'm is going to go to that? And this she, this was donated. before they, she was granted a dollar. But she actually turned around and actually donated her own hard her, money Her suit claims that any money received that from... Yeah. Her suit claims that any money recovered from the case will be donated to charitable organizations dedicated to protecting women from acts of sexual assault. This was before the ruling. So if you're going to say, whatever I get, I'm giving to whatever, then I have no problem. You can ask for $10 billion if you... I don't got. I don't have any issue because it's a countersuit. She didn't say I'm suing you. I'm not. She wasn't the aggressor in the lawsuit. She I, wasn't the plaintiff. I she was the that. defendant. So I understand. I have no issue with her countersuit. Oh, you're gonna come at me with this bullshit saying that you got fired because you you touched me. Okay, then here's the countersuit. I have no problem li- throwing the countersuit back at him. But don't be like, well, I'm gonna countersue him and then whatever money I'm gonna give to. In, in reference to me winning this countersuit, if I do win, I'm going to give to charitable organizations and then be like, I just want a dollar for symbolic reasons. Then, don't, then why, why are you even mentioning charity? Why, why, are you, why are you talking about I'm going to give all my... I don't know. What credible source is this that you're quoting? Uh, CNN.com. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty credible. Yeah. I Actually, was, I, don't, I don't know. I thought it was going to be some like, a yeah. shit website. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I mean, I, I can't Taylor say, but donates money a lot of the time. She to does stuff, uh, every so. single year. I, I, I but it's, have no issue. And she, I'm pretty sure she donated that dollar, though. But this is the same, <laughs> this is the same Kaepernick bullshit, right? Oh, if he's going to protest, why doesn't he put his money where his mouth is? It's the same well, crap. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. The, yeah. I know that, but that's what he's focusing on. He's focusing on why didn't she sue for more money? Because if she would have sued for more money, that would have. People would have been better. talking even worse shit about her. But it was a, it was a countersuit, though. I, I understand I know, what a countersuit I know, means. and I say sue, but she countersued for the dollar. I get that. But if she had countersued for a million dollars or $10 million, that's all that people would be focusing on. And people would have this negative like line of thinking. Like, oh, well, why does she need all that money? The point wasn't the money. The well, point it, it was, the you yeah. did this, and I am right. Right. Well, it wasn't the money because she said it's not about the money. Anything I get, I'm donating to... So. Anyone that says, oh, she's just looking for money, can't fucking read. So that's not even an issue for me in any, and it, it, she's said that way before shit 
even got came out about her getting the dollar. Right, but you're like focusing on this one dollar. That's because I don't I don't see it as symbolic. I think symbolic would be show the system is fucked up and is broken and does not respect women in general, or show that you now are showing that the system does work for women. That's more symbolic than a monetary amount of one dollar for me in a countersuit. I, I think when you countersuit, it has to be for something. That I think that's one of the problems too. Like you can't countersue somebody for nothing. Uh, well, I mean, and I don't want to say how I would handle it because obviously people handle sexual assault in in many different ways. It's obviously probably the most traumatic uh, physical crime you can do to somebody and, and be a victim of. So I don't want to be like, oh, well, she should have uh, uh, taken him to jail and, and stuff. Even though I might have done that, someone else might not have. That's different different folks, different people's opinions. I just don't don't. I don't don't consider it symbolic when we don't. I know the guy's name, but do you know the guy, the DJ's name? Well, or I, where it happened at? Well, think, Denver, Colorado. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that's well, kind of. Like well, she yeah. she kind of buried the guy though, like two years ago. So I think that's yeah. one of the reasons why we don't know who the fuck he is because he got buried. I have a question. I, but even even so, he can go get another job. Uh, oh, can nope. he? Uh, why can't he? Not. Uh, especially not now. The motherfucker just lost the suit. Yeah. It's a civil suit. Yeah, yeah it's a civil suit. That Don, he Don, Don, Don Imus called black women nappy headed hoes on fucking on. He, on oh yeah, and he, he, he got, got several got, jobs. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Don, that guy's not Don Imus though. And tell us, <laughs> we, like, we, we, local we, DJ popular. in yeah. Colorado. We've seen local DJs get go have sex in, in Catholic churches with uh, the um, the guys that did the Whip It Out Wednesday. But that's uh, different from sexual assault. The, it's it's not sexual. It's a civil case. You don't have to report a civil case in, on a job application. You have to report it if you were a victim of a, of a misdemeanor what? or a felony crime. Everybody. This was he doesn't have to not... report it, dude. It's yeah. all on the news. No one. It, we don't even know his. I know his name, but no you know one knows what? his I'll name. You, Hold on. I'll bet no. you the producers can, in Denver, Colorado, know what the fuck his name is. If he is. gets a job in Jacksonville, can I run, and a, just hypothetical, be like, can I run a hypothetical hypothetical for you? He's a DJ, right? Radio okay. DJ. You're telling me right now if he applies for a job in any other fucking state in this country. That they couldn't look up that DJ in the fucking news and be like, "Oh, and I see that you do sexually Google assaulted." I, well, let's let's revisit this, and I'll give it six months. Six months, and I. Yeah, I'll what give are you gonna eight. do? You gonna look at his LinkedIn profile? I'll see if he's if <laughs> he's, he's yeah. Profile. Does that not prove a point? If if he has a radio gig job in eight months, does. Then, then what? How, how did this... I mean, obviously, he's not working at that station in Denver, but he still has I'll, a job. I'll, I'll, and bet, I'll bet five bucks you want to have a, a, a DJ on the air job. I'll bet you a dollar. In six months. <laughs> <laughs> Let's we'll, go. We'll uh, bet, we'll bet, can we bet we'll a round of beers? wearing that Princess Leia costume again? No. Oh, yeah, I learned my lesson. I paid, yeah. I paid my debt to, to, to yeah. civilization and everything. Yeah, you paid your debt to the fandom. Uh, yeah. I have a question. So if she was doing her countersuit, can she request a dollar amount and then... If she loses or wins, can the judge change the amount of whatever's awarded? The judge can do almost whatever he wants. So it makes you it's wonder. Girl it, 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 well, they can't give you more money, though. They could lessen your amount. They can't award you more than what you asked for. Yeah, I'm so my sure. question is, well, did she initially ask for a certain amount and, and then the judge no, reduced she, it? No, she asked for a dollar, oh, as far as I know. In yeah. the countersuit, she requested... That would be well. The countersuit, yeah. Her countersuit was for a dollar. Yeah, it's, wow. it's a civil thing, so mm. there has to be some okay. sort of monetary thing that ex- exchanges. But I, I just think that, like I said before, it, 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 make an example of these people that just think it's it's okay to go around putting their hands unwarranted on women. And I mean, I bring it up almost all the time with, with on the MJ Kobe cast. Mike Tyson went to jail for rape. He was convicted and charged with rape. And everyone's like, "Oh, he's so funny!" And hang- that's a rapist. You, are we 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 still forgetting? And people just seem to erase that from from their mind. I haven't erased it. Oh, I I, yeah. I think a lot of people in general just he like, "Oh, Mike time. Mike Tyson." Well, he, well no. he flipped out that one time well, when no. they asked him about he it. He says they raped other people, but not her, which is kind of funny to me. But I'm just right. saying. Um, yeah, <laughs> funny how it's funny isn't like <laughs> fucked up that he's that kind of he's okay, that kind of crazy. Okay, okay, yeah. but yeah. So I, I just think that making an example of people, I mean, it, it, even Ezekiel Elliott, the guy that's being suspended for domestic violence, they showed him on a parade float just grabbing a, a girl's titty and whipping out her. her You're giving they, examples of people that make millions of dollars. This motherfucker was a local radio DJ. Right. <laughs> He's what, not worth anything. But but I'm saying, what what is it? Still, if somebody commits a crime and puts their hands on you, I, if I don't want, I idealistically, in a perfect world, I would want a woman not to have to factor in, well, he's got money. I don't know if people believe me. I want them to receive the same amount of justice 
as the as a rich person would. And For I, sure. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think that that goes oh, puts a step in the right direction into having that utopia, which hopefully might happen one day, but realistically probably won't. Unfortunately, yeah. I just think that. I mean, getting out and reporting these crimes, because it seems like every time that we do a story where somebody reports about, oh, well, this person assaulted me, it seems like, unfortunately, we're trying to piece together a timeline of events. And we're like, well, how soon after did it happen? Did she report it? Why didn't she report it right away and stuff? And it's because of the stigma, like K-Mac touched on, where they're going to have to get in front of a, a jury in a trial. Whoa, whoa. I touched it, but... Was there consent? Oh, <laughs> shit. I don't know. Ask Blue. Blue's the consent. Uh... <laughs> yes. Was there a boner? No, no, no. <laughs> Actually, uh, pre-recorded live uh, went over this. You have to cup your hands forward, and you have to put your genitals in their hands. Oh, God. This is the consent thing now. It's like the genital handshake. Yeah, but it's like... Um, <laughs> yeah, because essentially women, like I said before, are put on trial when they are supposed to be the defendant in any time there is a sexual assault case or rape. All right, well, let's get off the subject. I have something I wanted to ask K-Mac, because I forgot about it from last time. And since you don't do Earth Girls Are Easy every goddamn week now, uh, I guess I got to ask you on this podcast. Oh, so, Joyce. This is like the dankest question ever. Oh, uh, Lilo oh, wouldn't answer. Lilo yeah. would not answer. I was like, you better answer this damn question. Right. Oh, shit. So this is from uh, Sierra Audrey Greening. This like, it's a long name. Anyway. <laughs> so I have to switch. Oh, I'm going to switch things around because it's going to fuck me up just saying this. So your boyfriend and your... Dad, I'm gonna see your face when you when you say some <laughs> of this. Your boyfriend and your dad switch bodies. Oh, you have to fuck one of them to change them back. Who do you fuck? Oh. Dad <laughs> or boyfriend? <laughs> yes. Oh, you sure? I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to screenshot <laughs> that for the last. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> the dankest. Y'all motherfuckers the- both would die. <laughs> <laughs> We they wouldn't just, die. They'd just be just stuck. In the body. Yeah. yeah, you'd be stuck. Lilo was like, I'll find a way. I was you like, God what? damn it, answer. My mom and I would go on a Mexican vacation and just not come back. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's all bad. I'm fucked. <laughs> Leaving us. I mean, you're not. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucked less. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm old. Jesus. Well, shit. That's awful. But Wait. You if, if you yeah, go... you're going to be many more years closer to dying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, damn. If you go oh, on a Mexican years. vacation, what if you run into the donkey show? Why do you have to go there? <laughs> oh, Ninja, you don't just run into. <laughs> well, I mean, um, actually, I was walking down the street to fucking Tijuana and saw a little peep of something. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't the tequila talking. I've been at TJ a lot of times. I never happened upon a donkey. I mean, it may have just been a donkey in the street. I might street, have went to a And my mind show. might have gone there. Yeah. But it's probably probably. How are you going to make me answer that question? They made me answer that yeah, question. Then, yeah. Ew, you answered that question? Oh, right, no. The same thing you said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, nope. <laughs> All right. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right. That was Earth Girl K-Mac. Bye-bye, K-Mac. From the Earth Girls Are Easy podcast. And Scrappy, go. Coming to drop this tank. Oh, and so their mascot. Scrappy, yeah. out. Go. Tell us this. Earth right. Girls Are Easy. Talking Cult. about Taylor Swift, Tay, yeah, Tay Tay, and the dankest questions we've been ever asked on the class. All right, what are we going now? Well, what the hell? Are oh, we Justice doing? League reshoots. Oh yeah, again. Well, every movie has reshoots. Yeah, but this one's I heard it was unwatchable. Yeah, so people yeah. did watch end up watching the Justice League movie. I guess they had some people had a sneak peek, and they were saying that it is unwatchable. Yeah, but here's my issue and though. That it's way too fucking dark. Here's my issue though. These people, quote unquote, are unnamed. Right, and we don't even know who they like. Are they critics? No, no, we no. We don't no. even know that. So I can answer part of this question. Go ahead. Only because I did this before. So before a movie comes out, it's screened by people like just normal people all the time. Uh huh. And so these are probably screeners that are watching that. Well, you're so, saying probably though. Like, no, no, no. More than likely, I'm saying like 85. percent They 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 bring in normal people yeah. that watch the movie. And then they write down what they thought of the movie. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, wait, like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Like the Nelson thing. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying this for a unfinished movie that yeah. isn't the yeah. final product like yeah. months before while they, before they've done the research. Bruh, I they watched, always do this. I watched okay. the, I'm, d- I'm just asking. Okay. I watched The Secret Life of Walter Mitty yeah. a year before it came out. Okay. Like legit a year before it came out. Okay. And this is like... Not even all the CGI was done yet. And they but were... wait, 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 wait. You didn't sign an NDA saying you yeah, couldn't? Yeah, I did. 
Well, then, <laughs> how could they be people if... Because people don't give a fuck. People don't have fucking morals yeah. like I do, goddammit. Yeah. Yeah, Old Ninja was out here talking about some shit like last yeah. week. Or we were like, I don't know if you should be talking about it. He's like, I don't care. When I sign an NDA, I don't say shit. Because <laughs> I, I used to have a clearance. Well, I still have a clearance. So, yeah. I, I feel like Warner Brothers would sue the shit out of people well, who sign not that, NDA. Not that I know who the fuck it is. I mean, it's just the internet, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can be anonymous. Yeah. But yeah, there's people screening the movies, and you could say that it's unwatchable. So Yeah, I've screened a few movies. Like, I've seen... Um, I think I saw the uh, Iron Man, the original one, before they added all the CGI, and I actually saw all the cables and stuff. All I'll say is this. It it, whether they are screeners or whether these are insiders or something like that, the movie product that's going to be in the theaters is not the one they watched. No. I mean, we, that they're, we know. They're, they're definitely going back and reshooting. Right. You know. Stuff, so. But if they're saying, well, like, the acting <clears throat> is, like, cringeworthy... We then... don't even know what's been taken out. Yeah, well, the thing is, though... Well, so... They actually... Let me, let me we know what's been taken yeah, out so from what they watch. The thing, what's gonna yeah, the in. thing is that when you're watching a screener like that, like they'll tell you in the beginning, look, we're gonna have parts in this movie that are unfinished. Yeah, and so those parts, you know, please bear with us, because like when I watched Secret Life of Walter Mitty, there were CGI parts that were just, it was like blocky and shit. Yeah, but yeah, you could yeah. tell what the fuck was going on. It was still a fun movie, right? But the main part of the movie, like well, the main acting parts, those are still gonna be in there. But and so if they're saying like the if the movie is unwatchable, then. But you're telling me the main parts of the movie that are acting. And again, I'm not trying to de defend DC. If it's shit, it's shit. But I know that they're reshooting some stuff with the actors doing the acting. Yeah, yeah, for so, sure. So, I mean... Well, probably because of this. Because they have pro because they listen to the screeners. Well, they were, the, uh, the screeners were also saying maybe. that the movie was too, like, dark. Not, like, dark as in, Did like, they say screeners in the, in, the, in the article? Did they say screeners? I'll have to go back and try to find it. I, I think we're still speculating on that part. But it any in any event... November's release is not the one they saw. I know that. We are, yeah, no we one are sees that, the November also, release. Yeah, I'm just well, until, it's, it's, it's not going to be too much. If they do everything right, it's not going to be different from what we're even with see. a different, completely different director and a lot of reshoots. Well, they. I and mean, edits. obviously, well, they're reshooting. Obviously, some of that reshooting is because of what they said. So they're going to do more reshoots because of what they said. Mm. Well, I mean, that, that's the, that's the whole point of screening. But if there's a new director that came on board, when did some, he come on board? He uh, er, way earlier this year. Well, then they, it would have been part in, of his vision. Then he came yeah, on in April. Yeah, I'm just saying that it sounds like there there could be both going on. Maybe some from screeners, maybe, and then some from a totally different director that wants to reshoot things because he didn't like where what it looked like. But it said people said it was. That's why I think it's screeners because people. It said people said it was unwatchable. Did not we, just did we get that? Actually, so what, reading over the article right now. So then, when did they watch this? Was that's this a, a couple question. of months ago? This was this recent. recent? Well, the article is recent, but when was their screening? I don't think we know. Because if they saw this back in like, I don't know, May, April, there's still a shit ton of work. That could go into it before. Well, a lot well, of that's it, like technical. Well, like yeah, it's all CGI. It's all stuff. CGI, yeah. technical, graphics, kind of, uh, whatever, CGI shit. But in terms of like, if they're and saying it, it's unwatchable, that really focuses on like acting and plot. I hear you. Yeah, you're, continuity. You, yeah. I hear you. And you're typically right. It's just that we do know that they've done some of the reshooting of the acting it's too. True. That's it's all true. I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. And okay. in fact, they were saying there was unprecedented sh uh, scenery done for the reshoots, like huge sets as if they were filming a feature, which is usually not done for reshoots. reshoots. It could it could be complete trash. This is, this is not one of the movies that I'm looking forward to this, this fall more than like Thor and, and Star Wars or whatever. Mm. I'm just saying I, I need a little bit more to go on, for more me, details about when they, what, what they saw and when they saw it. I'm, this is one of those movies I'm hoping to be good, but I'm fearing it's going to be like Shit. Hmm. Mm. All right. Well, we'll see. It's all good though. You want to talk about some gaming? Oh, yeah. Did y'all? Yeah. Right, wait. God damn it. Shut the fuck up. What? This isn't on here. It's not about gaming. No. Okay. Y'all know about there's a Wipeout Omega collection. That is about gaming. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I had to steal it somehow. Oh god. All right, Agents of Mayhem, you got that one, right? Well, yeah, but I want to give a goddamn sponsor first. Oh, shit. And tell no, Ninja to go shit all over my fucking sponsorship stuff. I it's didn't know you're going to do the sponsor. You're going to say we got to, you know, give a shot. Well, I shouldn't have to, goddamn it, at do this it. point. Do it. All right, so this portion of the podcast is brought to you by Gamefly. Gamefly is better than Netflix. That's right. I said it. What they do is they send to you, you make a list of games that you want to play, all right? And what they do is they send you 
those games, and when you're done playing them, you send it back and then see the next game that's on your list. It's pretty epic. It's a, it's a subscription-based service, and you pay no late fees, which if you were born in a long time ago like me, and you had uh, rental places like Blockbuster, and you rented a game, you kept playing it, and you owed them like $1,000, and you're like, what, what's going on here, man? This game only costs like 30 bucks because back then, games were way cheaper. Uh, there's no late fees with... with uh, Shit, Gamefly. Game <laughs> so uh, basically, as long as you're playing that service, there's there's no late fees. And if you like the game a lot, um, you cannot send it back and just pay for basically a used price of the game. So and then they'll send you the the box art and all that stuff. So it's pretty epic. They have over eight thousand new, new and used games for basically every system that's current right now, and, and some of the older ones as well. Um, they also have uh, movies as well, so you can get Blu-ray stuff like that. And say you don't have a console, they got you covered. You can play uh, streaming games on the Fire TV, on the Samsung Smart TV, on the LG Smart TV, and a few other um, Smart TV type items as well. So you don't even need a console anymore to play games, which is pretty epic. We're living in the future, y'all. So if you go to GameFlyOffer.com forward slash be BTI, you will get your first month of subscription on us. That's right, a free game on us for a month. So once again, that's... Uh, Damn, I'm messing things up today. Try GameFi. GameFlyAlpha.com. GameFlyAlpha.com. Four size B than BTI. Code Bridge 10. No. No. That's a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you messed my bad. up. <laughs> yeah. Put the pressure on me. <laughs> GameFlyAlpha.com. Four size B than BTI to get uh, one month of subscription service on us. All right. Now, on with Wipeout. Go ahead. Before yeah. you move forward, so with the reshoot, they're saying it's uh, Josh Wheaton made uh, some changes and that the ending of the movie was supposed to introduce Darkseid and people felt like it just wasn't right. So it doesn't it doesn't really say who watched it. It just it's, it's kind of using general terms. There's mm-hmm. another article that I just pulled up showing that it was Warner Brothers allegedly called it unwatchable. Allegedly. I mean, that, but that's the company that's making it. Yeah. So... And that was as a, a of an early cut. Who knows? Wipeout. Yeah, Wipeout Omega Collection. It's like an HD version of all their Wipeouts all in one. It's coming to the PS4. I had no idea about this game because I thought Wipeout died. They're, they're actually fun games. They're racing games that go really fast. Yeah, so. I actually have the one for the Nintendo 64. It's, it's kind of like F Zero. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with you. they play Wipeout in Hackers, right? Isn't there like a scene no. where they're? Oh. That's one. No, there's a scene where they're playing a racing game, and that's, <coughs> and that's when did when Hackers come out? I forgot. I don't know. It came out in like the mid '90s. PlayStation wasn't out by then. Yeah, mid but they were early '90s. Let me see if I can find a scene. All right. I know there's a game they were playing, and Zero Cool beat what's the face. I'm it was like his first time playing it. Pretty Probably, sure it wasn't White. Was it Astro? I could be wrong though. Could be wrong. Might have been All something right. similar to it because yeah. it was kind of check it. Going to stuff. Agents of Mayhem. Let me hear about this. You got it right. Agents of Mayhem. Yes, uh, the team that brought us. The awesome series of Saints Row. I wish I had some Saints Flow right now. I could drink that. That's good stuff. Get superpowers. <laughs> yeah, Saints Flow, y'all. You don't know what that is? Look it up. All right. Anyway, uh, the people that brought to you, that brought us Saints Row, made a new game. It's a spinoff called Agents of Mayhem. And it's uh, it's pretty epic. I, I, I like it a lot right now. Basically, if you like Saints Row, if, if, if you haven't played Saints Row, go buy Saints Row the Third right fucking now. Think of Grand Theft Auto, but with better humor. Yeah. Like, and it's only real. on PS3, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, Saints Row, there was another the one. one. The one, the fourth one, one yeah, they yeah. remastered, yeah. But the third was just, that shit was off the hook. Mm-hmm. It was a great fucking game. Like, I think I, I might have platinum did. And I'll Probably did. That was a good platinum. Yeah, yeah. It's a very fun game. Anyway. And co-op, too, right? Mm-hmm. All yeah, the way it did. This game does not have legit co-op, so okay. I just just a fair warning. It's like it's a three. It's you can when you're playing the game, you switch between three characters, and they're all different. So it's kind of like a mix between Saints Row and Overwatch, mm-hmm. in my opinion, and sort of sort of like some GTA elements as well because the way you used to switch between three characters in GTA, but in this one, when you switch between characters, you're in the same spot. Mm, so you pick three important. characters and you're in the same spot. You can switch back and forth. It's really important because when you fucking di- when you're about to die, you can switch, and the other person starts healing when you switch. Yeah, okay. Kind of like a fighting Whoa. game, playing tag tag fighting yeah, game. In terms yeah. Wait, of- real quick. Y'all said that Saints Row the Third was an exclusive. It was a P- It was, no, on, it was PS3. on PS3. Uh, it wasn't exclusive. Yeah, I was about to say. Okay. Yeah. It was on, yeah, it was on Xbox 360 as well. And yeah. Windows. Anyway. Uh, so far, I've only played maybe hour or two of the game. It's been uh, it's been great so far. I, I I love the game. It's the same type of humor, same voice acting, 
The only thing that's kind of weird, though, is that the, the cutscenes are in a- animation. Oh. But you know, I'm getting used to it, so it's fine. What's cool about it, though, is that when you play as your three characters, they're all different, and they added in additional RPG elements into it, which is cool. So you can get gear, you can get different skins, you can upgrade different shit, you can get different weapons. And, and you're not in Steel, that same city, though, right? Steel no, City or whatever? No, yeah. No. Steel City. But they yeah. had that for both three and four. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was that, that's what kind of pissed off about four because it was mm-hmm. the same fucking place. It felt like big DLC. Yeah, that was the only yeah. Issue. But this one is definitely not a DLC. It's it's all different. It's been uh, it's been pretty dope so far. Like it's like this this Indian chick named Rama, who's my favorite character hmm. right now because she has this bow and arrow that's fucking devastating. It's almost like overpowering, but I'm loving it so far. So yeah, if you guys get a chance to check out that game, like right now, I'm giving it a solid eight. Oh wow! So I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So when that's... I when I get a chance to play it, actually, I'll, I'll have a chance to play it after my oldest. Goes back to Michigan a little bit more time. So cool. Next, so, uh, jumping back to hackers. Uh, it was Wipeout. That was that they were playing. It was yeah. Uh, Wipeout came out in September ninth of ninety five, and Hackers came out in September fifteenth of ninety five. Wow. wow. And they had a pre pre pixelated unplayable demo of the game. Okay, that's what I was saying because like it wasn't even yeah, it was an actual game. Yeah, but it was like a, for the movie basically. Okay, right. good shit. Um, y'all see this game, Lawbreakers? Y'all yeah, know this game? Okay. it looks dope. I was so, on the alpha, even though I didn't play it. So is, <laughs> is this a PS4 exclusive? Is, the, looks is like that the one where so. you're escaping the jail with the? No, no. no. It's, it's like Grand Overwatch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. a lot of in the air, fast twitch, first okay. person shooters. Yeah, it's like, it looks like a lot of aerial combat. Yeah, it's like Overwatch mixed with Quake. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. yeah, yeah. Some people but, are swearing about it. I got a couple folks on my Facebook. So that this love game it. just came out this week or last Tuesday. Something very recently. Yeah, it's very, thirty very bucks recent. on PSN. Yeah, so I'm wondering if anybody's interested in this. It or... was um shit. What's the guy's name? He's the guy who made fucking Gears of War. So oh, his name. Um, Cliffy B. Yeah, mm-hmm. Cliff, Cliff was. In oh, he did yeah. this one. Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it was him. Okay. I thought Lawbreaker is a VR game. It no, no, be... no, no. I don't know. There could be a version. I don't know, but yeah. from what I've seen, Maybe the gameplay looks, something. looks similar to like Overwatch, but with a lot more aerial fighting. I'm not convinced, especially for that price tag, that the number of maps and content, mm. you know, warrants the thirty dollar investment. I, I'm not sure. Mm. I need to ask some people who are playing it, but the folks who I know who are playing it enjoy it. Yeah, and it was it was Cliffy B. He's part of the, he he made this game. He's one of the people on the team that made this game. He makes wow. good games. And somebody they use the My Dream Swift or Swift to play uh, Lawbreakers in VR. Nice. Okay. It's, it's available on PC too because you can get it through Steam. Oh wow! Wow! Damn, Wipeout Cliffy. Omega's getting a high score from Gamespot. Nice. It's got a solid nine. Interesting. I haven't played Wipeout in a minute. Right. So uh, the Uncharted game. I was just about to go about into to that. About to come out in what? 10? Next week. Right? Is it next week? Next week on Tuesday, I believe. Uh, Lost Legacy. I thought it was the 28th or whatnot. Yeah, I thought it was 22nd. Yeah. Either way, it's coming out soon. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I believe... I mean, Naughty Dog hasn't let me down in a long fucking time. So, uh, I know this is DLC. It's standalone DLC. It should be fucking great. I'm still... Trapgate keeps going, man. Oh, god dang. We addressed that. Fuck them. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'm sorry. I, I basically let Will in that comment. Fuck them. People are still going. Yeah. yeah. I, I can't agree. Said what, said what we said. <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't, people don't understand what the fuck respect means. Yeah. What are you saying? I can't break it down. Yeah, Any more look, than that. We define what a trap is. God uh, damn it. Anyway, did we see a price tag on Lost Legacy? Or? I thought it was 40 I was thought it was going to be for you. No, I, I, so I don't believe it's a sixty dollar game. Yeah, okay. Uh, for DLC, but I, it sounds like from at least some of the folks who have been, uh, played it early on, somewhere between ten to twenty hours worth of content, which is very that's satisfying. Yeah, that's not bad. You know what I mean? Kind of like a short Uncharted game. So multiplayer co opness. I do say, not know. Yeah. I do not know. I mean, it. I mean, I know you play as the two Nadine, crazy like Kung it's, Fu Nadine. I think you play as one of them, and then yeah. the the other is kind of with you, yeah, NPC style. So I'm, I'm wondering if they're gonna have like the uh, fuck. What's the mode in Uncharted? Like, it's not Uncharted, but or not. It's not Horde. Plunder. Is, is that what they call it? What are you talking about? Where you the get the trophy? Ba- the wave base. Oh, survival. Yeah. It's like a survival. Yeah, that kind, kind of, of thing. Yeah. I wonder if that mode's coming back. I plan on getting it. I'm planning yeah, on getting it. It should be. It should be dope as hell. Any other games? We're still on the cusp of Destiny dropping next month. 
Yeah, and uh, we're in the cusp of, of somebody listening probably getting a free game. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> Destiny 2. Yes. Damn, I'm yeah. anxious to play uh, Evil Within 2. I just saw a couple of little uh, things pop up on it my. It drops later this year. Yeah. I mean, it could be dope. I still need I, to play I the love first the first one. one. I'm, I'm definitely excited to play the second one. Good shit. Good shit. You know what's coming up? We got two big things coming up soon. We got. Events? Well, yeah. I mean, Blue's yeah, getting married. You, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you should know one of them. Yeah. <laughs> it just said two big things happen. I was like, there's the solar eclipse happening. There's. Okay. We have about to be on Couch Life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have, uh, Blue. Actually, no, we got three big events. Blue's getting married. The day after that, Crunchyroll uh, Expo. Yeah. We're going to be there, apparently. Mm-hmm. And then on the second, we have fucking a panel for San Francisco, San Francisco Comic Con. Yes, yes. You also forgot your birthday. We asked tomorrow. Yes, yes. yes. There you go. I'm, I might, I might die tomorrow. No. Oh, God dang! Fuck your liver. Well, no. So I'm doing jujitsu tomorrow, and I'm gonna ask my my instructor to do basically 38 minutes straight of sparring. Good. I'm gonna yeah. see what's gonna happen. What, yeah. Is that, is that, <laughs> that's your highest limit so far. Well, that's a long ass fucking time. Yeah. I, mean, like, uh, I, say, I don't watch you train, but I mean, like, yeah. have you gone anywhere close to that long uh, before? Or? I've gone like 20 minutes hard with uh with my instructor before. All right. But. Yeah, 38 minutes, obviously, for... I'll, I'll be 38 tomorrow, if y'all didn't know. So I'm going to see if I can go 38 minutes straight and just fucking sparring. Damn, you? Or rolling, if y'all do jiu-jitsu. So Damn, I remember, I, back, I remember back when, in the 1800s, when I was 38. Nah. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> oh, fucking ass. <laughs> you were fighting Nazis and shit. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> and they're still here, goddammit. Yeah. You, you, you got a job you, to do. You failed yeah. our country. Yeah. Hey, that wasn't just fucking me. There was a whole percent of us. Fuck your feelings. <laughs> Did they uh, give you syphilis, though? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, was, it was a government thing. They didn't tell us what was in the vial. Holy shit. What are, y'all, what are y'all thinking about Defenders dropping fr- early Drop. Friday morning? I'm, I'm oh, watching. is this Friday? Yeah. This yeah. Friday morning. Oh, shit. I'm so, 12, 12 on one? So, I, I mean, I believe you know, we talked a little bit about people uh, seeing, seeing some stuff early. Yeah. I haven't heard any buzz quite yet. I'm sure oh, there's people oh, that have seen it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I haven't heard positive buzz. I should rather rather say well, well, quite yet. Quite yet. They gave their opinions, but I mean the the fans will, will give their review when we watch it. And some of it was bullshit. It's the same they're saying the same shit about Iron, Iron Fist, Fist yeah. which some of it is legit, but they keep saying the cultural appropriation, which god damn it. It's the way it was in the fucking comic books. Yeah. Fucking They're saying that it. again for Defenders? Yeah, I'm just oh. like, so I, co- complain about his shitty fucking uh, acting <laughs> and fighting. Stunt uh, work, fighting. Yeah. That's fine. Stop with the cultural appropriation bullshit. Because it's not like martial arts state and goddamn Asia, you fucking idiots. Mm-hmm. Where the comic book character wasn't white. And, yeah, yeah. And, and he, yeah, he was white. So it's a, that's a problem, too. It's, it's so fucking stupid. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited. I mean, just like Rick and Morty, I already fell down this rabbit hole, <laughs> so I'm, I'm super invested already. Um, I'm going in knowing that there's mixed reviews, but I want to see... I'm, I've been excited for a while to see all these characters come together and fight. Plus, I'm super curious to what the fuck Sigourney Weaver's Weaver, yeah. character is going to be. Yeah. It's a big star. About. That's I, the biggest star I on think yeah, she's so going to be an uh, alien queen. Oh, <laughs> shit. Ooh, that Get the, the power lifter thing. That would be good. <laughs> that, would be good. <laughs> that would be dope. And then have, like, Jessica Jones be like, Get away from here, you bitch! And yeah. just slap, that'd be fucked up. Well, I heard they're bringing back um, the purple guy... Um, Oh, season I mean, two. I thought that was for really? season two of season Jessica two Jones, Jones. Okay, so Jessica not Jessica Defenders. But I mean, what if I thought we he, get she broke his neck yeah. or some shit? Yeah. I don't know how hey, timeline wise they're, they're gonna like, do uh, it. Hey, uh, time heals all things. Yeah. yeah. Except <laughs> these crazy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we'll we'll see. So it sounds like most of y'all are gonna watch yeah, it Friday yeah. I haven't through heard the reviews, weekend. Thursday night, probably yeah. a little bit. And I'm sure it'll be flooded, just like with all Netflix releaks. People will go binge watch it, and so we'll. I'm sure we'll all have our opinions, and uh, we'll be hearing all over Twitter how how good it is or what's wrong. Oh with yeah, it. there we go. We'll be able. We'll probably talk about the first half on next week. Yeah, yeah, probably first yeah. at least four or five episodes. Yeah. So I guess I heard to think about the the Dare, not Daredevil. Um, shit, the Punisher. Oh, the actor yeah. is doing the Punisher. Yeah. What about him? So apparently, I guess he fought to make sure that char- the character isn't likable because I guess that's what the studios were trying to try to do to make him seem more like a hero where people kind of oh feel feel good for him or whatever is for it, him doing it, shit, but he's like, I, no. I, you I heard he challenged the Hulk. God damn. <laughs> uh, yeah. damn. Wow. Well, according to Marvel, he might win. Yeah, exactly. He's yeah, stronger. Right? <laughs> he's stronger. 
<laughs> yeah, no, Hulk. I'm, I'm I'm all on board with Punisher being. That's the one I'm actually looking forward to the most. If I'm yeah, really honest. Because he killed it in fucking with Daredevil. Yeah, yeah I mean, shit, that whole prison scene. Shit was like the best scene of all of the Marvel universe. You, you know, know, a lot of prison scenes are actually pretty good. Oh god, I'm not just... the rape ones. Oh, mm. oh, never mind. Mm. <laughs> you must not have watched the mo- the uh, the TV show Oz. Nice. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> There's a lot of questionable. You were dropping correct. the soap and dicks. Yeah, <laughs> I did not see Oz. You are correct. You didn't see Oz. Oh, no, you missing no, out. I did not. Uh, should we talk about titties? No. Well, a show that shows a lot of titties, Them Thrones. We didn't talk about this. Damn episode. Thrones. I gotta Damn get some refreshers. I gotta remember what the fuck was going on. Uh, Set us up, Stitch. Oh, boy. Uh, this, this is gonna be one of the hardest ones because I was thinking about that on the way here because they did a lot of sort of jetpacking from location to location to location yes. in one episode where it... I enjoyed it as a fan kind of because I didn't have to wait for stuff, but it definitely it was a... Off. a much different pace than how we are normally accustomed to kind of. in terms of Jon Snow's... Uh, Leaving Dragon Island, and then all of a sudden, boom! Now he's back in in the north again. I'm just like, yeah. wait a minute. I thought he got a ride on that F-16. <laughs> he did he get a ride? Yeah, so uh, they but they there's... did hop around the location, location. They a did, good bit. and there was some stuff like, um, so we see the aftermath of the battle. So Jamie That's gets some saved by Brian because they're in the river and not the ocean. Uh, so that river how do you how do you get bullshit? tackled into yeah. a river and I'm... you're wearing an anvil or a yeah. fucking and then you just wash up fucking three miles down shore <laughs> with some guy who's supposed to be diving and picking you up. Yep. Like, you can't survival float. He's hold smaller, no than fucking, Jamie. Can't, smaller than Jamie, too. Yeah, you yeah. can't hold Iron Man and survival float fucking three three miles down the thing. There That's some be, bullshit. There should be Dothraki and obviously a huge-ass dragon visibly in yeah. the area. Yeah. yeah. Like... What the yeah, fuck? There was smoldering fire, but that was yeah. kind of about it. Yeah, so pretty but much anyway, he washes survived. up. He washes up on shore. Um, we see the smoldering ashes and everything. Bronn's just like, yeah, uh, fuck this. I didn't sign up to fight no dragons <laughs> and everything. Jamie's shook. Um, Jamie then goes back to the uh, King's Landing. Yep. Tells Cersei, hey. We, we about to lose. Uh, <laughs> we're fucked. Mm-hmm. They got the dragons. And it was I only one. seen one. Mm-hmm. And that shit fucking barbecued the entire fucking city. <laughs> so did. Well, barbecued. <laughs> the, battlefield. Battle, yeah, the whole battlefield. Yeah, the battlefield. Yeah. And uh, that's not even talking about those motherfuckers with the curved swords that were just slicing away and Do chopping it for fun. Doing it for fun. Yeah. Just fucking. <laughs> you said, I see, I didn't it was like intramural fight. sport for them. Yeah, he said, I seen <laughs> He's them like, fight. we're fucked. Yeah. And uh, Jamie, I mean, uh, Cersei wasn't trying to hear all that shit because Cersei's in her own little world. She's like, we got money, goodbye mercenaries. Yeah, and it <laughs> well, was, ironically, before that, they had that discussion. She was talking to her, or her um, hand, of the, man, hand, of the queen, hand of the queen, well, hand of the king, well, hand of the queen, if you want to call it. Yeah. yeah. Secretly doing some little whisper type shit. Um, also, it gets revealed that um, my mother-in-law, Lady Olana, killed. Uh, Joffrey, the one true king. She, <laughs> yeah, so that that sort of gets revealed. She didn't want to believe it at first, but Jamie played it like put it out there. Hey, if you wanted somebody to be a puppet, much more person Tommen than Joffrey's, and clicked her in her head. She was kind of shook on that. She was then visibly pissed at Jamie for not making her suffer. So because she asked him, well, did you find this out before or after you gave her the poison? Because she wanted to to fucking. Like parade her through the streets and yes, torture yes. Her and, and, and embarrass her, and Jamie sort of gave her the, the easy way out and had her drink the poison. And she, Jamie, found out the news. Um, after that, we find out, um, fuck it, I guess she's her last egg in her fucking ovary got oh, fucking yeah. fertilized, <laughs> and uh, she's, she's with a, child now. She's a fertile old lady. Uh, mm. Guess so. She's, she's uh, taking them nuts. with child, which I eventually think... they're gonna have some hemophilia. I got them cyclops baby. Yeah, yeah. No you, shit. you really can't fuck you. Are you really shouldn't, shouldn't. fuck your sister? <laughs> yeah. yeah, same gene pool, just mix oh, it over and over. Again. We're gonna we're gonna touch on that aspect. We'll put a little push pin on uh, <laughs> family relations uh, in that. But yeah, that um, is gonna be interesting. And we still. Are we going to talk about fucking Samwell finding the shit about Rhaegar? Oh, of course. Yeah, I want to put us to that. Man. Yeah. Yeah. But um, just to tie off the nice little bone that it's going to be funny because we all know that um, King of the Ocean of the Squid People wants to fuck. Right. Uh, he's, he's down he with. He ain't never going to fuck. Yeah. He'll he die before then. Never going to fuck. It's yeah. going to be some problems because he's trying to They're fuck. He's going to kill him. She's got to pretend that she wants him to fuck to get, keep that navy in her pocket. Yeah. And Jamie, now that he's like, you ain't putting no dick where my seed's at. Yeah. And that's gonna be a problem. You're gonna put no dents in my baby's forehead. 
That's so, physics. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, now we move on to um, uh, the Maesters and Tully and everything. I'm, I'm getting a whole order of Sammy events, but I want to make sure I get the all the, the yeah, good plot this, points. So essentially, um, they're having their little meeting, all the Maesters, and uh, talking about what's going on with these White Walkers and everything because they received a raven um, from, from Bran who visually went into the crows, saw that the White Walker army move in, march in, reported back. They said, send ravens, send the mass fucking email, reply to all. <laughs> and fucking, they got the email, and now they're, they're ignoring it and playing stupid with it. Yes. So Samuel, when he was done cleaning his uh, bedpans and everything, was happy to be in the room and started to conf- confirm, be like, hey, yeah, this is legit. And like dumbass old people, they sort of shoot him aside. Get off my lawn. Yeah, yeah. no, no, and whatever. And there's always one cranky old person that just poo-poo's on some shit. Um, they pretty much they were like, all right, well, we'll we'll say, send something back saying, all right, well, we need further proof, et cetera, et cetera. And then uh, Samuel Upset runs off. We find out that um, the Maesters know that um, Samuel's father and brother were torched by the dragon yes. um, because they refused to bend the motherfucking knee. Huh. <laughs> um, so then so, uh, Sammy Samuel goes back to his, his uh, chamber quarters with his wife who's learned how to read and is running the little romper room in, in their little small hotel room there. And uh, she unveils like the biggest plot point like ever in terms of uh, essentially that I didn't get the names mixed up, but Rhaegar. it is Rhaegar had a secret marriage to Ned's sister. Ned's sister. Uh, well, and- actually, to be clear, she says that he had his secret wedding with a woman. Yeah. In the island, in the island of Dorne. Dorne, yeah. And he had a, his current marriage was annulled, annulled, and apparently the same day or within the same time. Yeah. He got secret. Essentially, demand. they did a little Britney Spears, like Vegas wedding kind mm-hmm. of thing, and uh, went off to legitimize their actual marriage after they smash. So, it, it essentially, without saying, putting it out in, in plain English, essentially, Jon Snow is not a bastard. Mm. Jon Snow is technically the nephew of Khaleesi. Well, that's still. Oh, well, yeah. Well, we have it. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. That's sort of what they were dancing alluding around to, and, yeah. and alluding to. That, but uh, Sam, we don't know if Sam fully heard Gilly. He didn't hear because he was too busy mad because he didn't get listened to by the old people in the thing. He was too busy packing, getting ready to pack up some scrolls and and, and bitch about how many times whoever took a shit and did whatever. But he wasn't trying to listen to his lady. Um, and that was obviously a huge plot point because now, essentially, Jon Snow now has a legitimate right to the actual throne he would be the rightful heir yeah, yeah. to the actual uh throne and makes bend the knee bitch uh take <laughs> a back seat <laughs> dang. can we talk about their interaction in the with y- the dragon uh, yeah, yeah there's some sexual tension or or not between between khaleesi, and, uh, khaleesi john. and john snow between uh aunt and nephew mm-hmm. uh obviously they don't know that they're related that dragon knows <laughs> that, dra- that, dra- that dragon's got smelt that fucking <laughs> he smelt it which is absolutely hilarious and uh i mean the graphics on it was really good oh, yeah. um the i i read something and i guess they each episode of game of thrones cost around like six million dollars mm. budget wise which i mean that's that's expensive as fuck but i mean they're putting that money to good use i mean yeah. they blew up fucking wagon trains this dragons <laughs> fucking see they're not just showing like Two seconds of the dragon. The dragon's fucking sitting in in the fucking jury while uh, <laughs> Daenerys is fucking putting motherfuckers to trial or whatever. Okay. Dick on and the other dude guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The fuck I, I want. I was on. like, oh, I want to. I can't wait to screenshot that. I was like, that's just epic. I was like, I want to put my head on like in the background. Do you notice the dragon doesn't just follow simple one word commands? Like it, the dragon, Dr- act, yeah. yeah, but the dragon acted like he was like, okay, I'm gonna eat you as soon as she says so. Once the trial, quote unquote, yeah. is over, <laughs> and they don't. But the, the dragon. Seems smart as fuck. Yeah, the, dragon really smart as fuck. Like, the dragon was waiting. He's like, I need to eat one of you motherfuckers. Well, it's as fucked as up. She should feed the dragon. Me. I was telling Lilo. I was like, feed, let him eat. Let the dragon eat. Dragon's gotta be tired. Work. Get him some Gatorade. Get him a nice, queen. good ass <laughs> meal. Not till Mama says. Give so. him a goat. Yeah. <laughs> and the Mama dragon hasn't eaten. Been, we don't eat in a while. I mean, you don't need and, and to see it feed. I mean, if you I want, want to see, see it feed, and it's like an arrow to the knee. I mean, the shoulder. Mm-hmm. You know, it's all good. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Injured? Can can I get a little fucking? He got popcorn. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. it ain't gonna fill him up, but let him get a, a snack on. It's probably and that some would cows. be more intimidating. We obviously seen it. <laughs> we always saw the dragon torch some shit. Let it let it chew on some motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. True. let yeah. him get a snack on by eating dick on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. So um, that whole plot point gets revealed. Now we go back to uh, win- the Winterfell, right? Yeah. Sure. W- okay. Uh, yeah. Winterfell. Wait, hold on. Did you not watch? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, okay, okay. I, okay. I'm yeah. like, it it bounced around. So yeah, no, Winterfell. yeah, it was all over the place. That's why it's hard for me. I watched it. Sure. No, nah. you shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so um, essentially, the people are getting a little bit rowdy in terms of Jon Snow uh, not coming back. He's he's late. Dinner's ready on the table. It's getting cold. They were like, where the fuck you at, Jon Snow? Mm. And um, Arya is sort of in the background watching this whole, uh, I, want to say, I don't want to say a rebellion yet, but sort of whispers of of sort of a, a slight mutant. Yeah, angst is a good word. Uh, and um, she doesn't really squash it in a way that nope. Sansa probably should. And Arya definitely takes note and is uh, confronts her about it. And I, I think it's, it's really... Uh, Pretty badass for her to just go and be like, "Hey, why y'all letting t- why you letting people dis dis John?" Can I say something real quick? All right. I hated this because Arya to me is not about politics at all in all of these oh, seven yeah. seasons. For the most part, she has her list. She's about killing. I, d- I didn't really like her diving into the stuff with Sansa and well, uh, the house. All well, that no, it, it's, it's about, about it's about Snow because she her she's closer to John Snow than I would say she is to Arya. I don't even yeah. like that so much. What, she yeah. seems. She seems like ever since she's gotten in Winterfell, it is her. If her list is her ultimate goal, which she said over and over and over and over and over again, why does it seem like that's taken such a drastic backseat? Well, I don't, hold on, she had the list because her whole family was gone. Exactly, yeah. but she still has the list, right? Yeah, she but, still does, but she needs to. Meet, she she hasn't, prioritized. Yeah, reprioritized. she, she still like the politics. But the fuck on, she hasn't met. She hasn't even seen John yet. Nope. But. Yeah, I, I so understand that's, that. That's yeah, she knows John be back. I, no, not not about the sticking around. It's about jumping into the politics stuff of Winterfell. I don't. I got what else is gonna do? I don't think it's the politics. Focus it on wasn't politics. You just be like, why are you talking shit? I think it's about family honor yeah. and name. Like you can yeah. tell they're all talking yeah. shit. And that's she's never like, been important. Why aren't to her? you sticking? Well, she it's didn't a, know she had a family. Her, family her whole mission and killing people with each one that fucked over her family. Is and to me, it's still her primary mission. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, she eliminated the phrase because they killed her family. Now she can. She's finally re. United after seven or six seasons of not even seeing a family, she thought she was a lone fucking wolf. She now she finally, we, a week ago, she just saw her sister again. True. And now she's waiting on her her BFF, her favorite family member, John, to get back from this mission. So she's just chilling, waiting in the lobby, sitting in the living room, waiting for John to get back. And family members talking shit, exactly talking well, about overthrowing the, John. His subordinates, and, yeah. T- it's not about them running day to day, where to send gold, what kind of supplies. It's about them, yeah, talking shit. About the family. Yeah, saying fuck and John, like, essentially. And she goes to Sansa and like, why aren't you sticking up for John? Yeah. That's pretty like, much Yeah, it. she's like, well, she's like, what's the deal? She's like, not saying, oh, you need to send troops here. You need to get this, acquire this, procure that. No, she's like, why didn't you say anything when they were talking shit to John? Yeah. I don't like it. And, and ah. essentially, I mean, even she sort of pieces it together uh, saying, oh, you've always liked nice things. You've grown accustomed to. She was talking shit. She was rightfully talking shit and putting it all out there, and I mean, she called she called out Sansa and to her face, she which I, I think was great. And Sansa needed that reminder because she had been talking out of pocket at these meetings where John's supposed to be running the show. She did it, did it twice, which sort of provoked this mini sort of rebellion in terms of like, is John doing the right thing every time Sansa opens her mouth and is just like, no, we should we should do this. Essentially, now she's she's uh. Where Arya calls her out and says, "Oh, you've always you've dreamt of this. I can see it in your eyes right now." And she couldn't say shit. So- Sansa's scheming, and I don't like it. But the biggest scheme going on now is Littlefinger. This motherfucker uh, passing notes, getting caught passing notes, and then pretending like I don't know. It's hard to tell what he's actually setting up. Yeah, because he's on the surface, it looks like he's trying to play on this whole rivalry going on between Sansa and Arya. However, Arya. Nobody knows Arya's the fucking chameleon and can put on different faces, do whatever. She's the only one that knows that. So I'm hoping that Arya gets the last laugh and is, is ahead, is I'm one step ahead. So is Littlefinger on her list or not? No, I don't think he is. Not originally, but okay. the, yeah, with I, the with the dagger, and I think she's piecing shit together with with that whole dagger gift and and everything that uh, she's observing since she's been there. So mm. I'm hoping that Arya puts a dagger in in Littlefinger. In his heart, put it, put a dagger in his little finger. Oh, yes. damn! All right. um, and then we have the Avengers teams. Oh, the Suicide Squad! Hmm. Suicide Squad teams up. Um, they release the the guy that never dies um, from the jail cell with the Hound, 
and um, the, they, the the Lord of Light, the God yeah, of Light, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Then in, and also in King's Landing, they uh, they picked up the um, the for, the iron the forging guy, the metal oh, maker. They picked up uh, he's our, Robert's bath, bath, Bra- yeah, yeah his, actually, I can't think his name. He's actually the heir to the throne too, which is fucked up. Yeah, that is true. Good point. Yep. Um, and that whole thing was kind of weird in terms of their plan to bring a White Walker to King's Landing. To I didn't get that at all. That so seems that way dumb. Cersei well, could see what they're fighting. It's just to against. stop the war. It just yeah, seems it, like it a seemed like such plan. a stretch with Cer- I mean, like Cersei doesn't give a fuck. Like, well, well yeah, one. but if, if you have like a million goddamn White Walkers, you know what I mean. I it, think she'll... all it takes is one to literally wipe out probably half of uh, King's Landing because San- they're not going to know how to beat it. Uh, it seemed like it was it was going to be a tool to convince. It just yeah, yeah. It's, it seemed like a stretch because yeah. Cersei yeah, can't predict how. And then we, are. I mean, we did see Braun and uh, reunite with with uh not Braun, uh, Jamie re- reunite with Tyrion after they had their little secret meeting in the dungeon, which Cersei still knew about. Yeah, which, is which was weird. Weird. I mean, that's as fuck. Um, but I don't like well, this whole plan. Cersei's fucking up again. She she did this before with the fucking uh the high septum or whatever. Yep. Or stuff that she knew what the fuck was going on. She didn't. Nah, yeah. And then she had to just blow them all up. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, control <laughs> delete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh shit, I lost. Uh, yeah. I can still blow you up though. <laughs> yeah, let's start this all over again. That was badass. Yeah. I mean, but we are getting close to the end of the fucking series, and I don't feel like we are wrapping up nicely. Well, At I mean, least not yet. They what? they're going to go, I guess, pick up this White Walker for some fucking reason and try to ha- fail miserably. Probably. Yeah, it just seems like a dumbass plan when they could just be like, um, yeah, can I borrow this F sixteen? Yeah, uh, and you can you just hop? Well, let me co pilot and we can. Can we talk about the hamburger meat, hamburger meat face though? Hamburger meat face. The, yeah, the when that dude with the with the hammer, he was just like, oh, oh yeah, oh, I, I don't yeah. I don't like swords, I prefer a hammer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the guy, the blacksmith. Yeah, and then I was like, that's a big ass hammer. Yeah, and then he went hammer time in the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I was like, god damn, he fucking got all the momentum he behind that. <laughs> He went full Negan. Yeah, he fucked up two dudes in a matter of yeah. like three seconds. Yeah. I was like, God damn. I was worried. Once he started cocking it back, I was like, how is he going to get two of them with this yeah. motherfucker? He, better, <laughs> he fucking whop and just kept the motion going. Yeah, yeah. Wop, wop. yeah it was almost reload. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, and hey. they showed his face, and I was like, oh, shit, he's got yeah. a hammer in face. Yeah. Just know in uh, Monster Hunter, you, if you get that hammer, it's going to be the same kind of motion. Yeah. Real quick, we haven't seen Grey Worm in a while, no, obviously. We they they, they, they out hiking back. They Uber left, like it, we said. Well, And you haven't seen his, uh, his sister either. His sister, his sister, his sister. Yeah, we have no idea what happened to her. Oh, Grey yeah, Worm? yeah, you're right. You're right, yeah. yeah. She, uh, she, she got brought back to fucking uh, King's Landing, but we don't know what happened to her. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, so, I'm confused. Who's sister? He, he's talking about uh, 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 Theon's sister. Oh, Theon's. I thought you said oh, Grey Worm. Yeah. Oh, Grey you said Grey Worm. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I was confused. Yeah, yeah. Grey Worm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Same thing. I'm, we still don't know what... I was about to say, Grey Worm's fu- yeah, Grey fucking Worm's a legit a... piece of ass, not no... Yeah. He's scissoring a legit piece of ass. doing no fucking... Dickless ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, we don't know what happened to Euron. Where the fuck did he go? He go He's home? waiting. He waiting to fucking plow into Cersei. But yeah, Suicide yeah. Squad opens the gates and they marching towards the fucking Night King to try to recruit, try to capture one and bring it back. It's a uh, dumbass hold on. Plan. Suicide mission. I loved how uh, Termon was like, um, "Is the big woman coming?" Yeah. <laughs> they need to just, they need get John, on. John was just cracking up laughing. He doesn't even answer. He's just busting up laughing. He's all he's about like, that. Yeah. He sure was because he looked, he stopped what he was doing, raised that eyebrows up. Mm, this big one, big one coming, big girl coming. Mm, mm, mm. He's like, no, she ain't coming. She's yeah, like, we got two episodes left. I heard that they're not, the last season's not coming until 2019. I, wait, I thought, I thought this thought was, was the last, last season. season. No, no it's, not. There's, there's, it's not. No, there's, there's they're one make, more after. They're making spinoffs, though. There's yeah, a season yeah. eight. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they're not gonna wrap. They're not gonna come to a complete conclusion in two episodes. Yeah, I was about to say because yeah. it's not wrapping this is, up. Yeah, this is the second last season. The next one I think is not coming out till twenty nineteen. So, so are I, they are they waiting for the books to be done? No, no books, ain't, books ain't catching up. They ain't catching up. Yeah. He, shit. yeah. What the fuck then? All right. All right. Them uh, thrones. Them thrones. What else we got on here? Uh, What's this shit about Pornhub? Who put this on there? Oh, I put that on there. What the fuck? It's kinda, I ain't got all the like serious, serious details. Oh, well, then fuck your shit. Then. But whatever, motherfucker. All I'm trying to say is, according to Pornhub, there's been some scientific studies saying that millennials no longer like tig-ass, big old titties. Well, fuck the millennials anyway. That's right. Fuck y'all. What's wrong there... with y'all not no, like no titties? They had a graph with like the number of like <laughs> huge titty porn, you know, that people would be downloading and it just was going downhill over the years. What 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 quantifies as huge titty porn? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> uh, actually, so I think they said anything over a 
double D uh, was considered big titty porn, you know. But um, I like tits. I don't need. I, need, I don't need no fucking Samantha thirty eight G yeah. bullshit oh, in my face. 30, oh shit! Golden <laughs> Eggplant <laughs> Award winning porn star of the year, Samantha thirty eight G. Say it with respect. Oh, just like you say, Brie Larson's name Fuck with respect with her a <laughs> Golden Eggplant Award as well. Uh, Fuck her with Love respect. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, that's that's surprising. I'm gonna put on the glasses to read from here. What's, what's, what's it say? I, I, I see I, charts and, and graphs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. There's science behind it. It's a science yeah, behind it. That's pretty good. Yeah. I love the, it when Pornhub does stuff they like fucking, this. They edge us out, goddammit. Millennials killing us. Yeah. The 60% uh, of millennials... Si- I'm sorry. Millennials account for 60% of Pornhub's visitors. Yeah. So that's great. That's, that's age 18 to 34. That's millennials for y'all. That's awesome. Um, and time spent per visit. Millennials have 9 minutes, 10 seconds. Older generations <laughs> have... 10 minutes and 15 seconds. They got to pop that them. Viagra. No, they got to pop that dusty nut. Mm. Yeah. It takes a little longer, goddammit. Uh, gender split. More dudes. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> more dudes. yeah. But uh, uh, All right. So on. It goes the thing. The most popular search terms for millennials. First one, lesbian. Second one, teen. Then stepmom. Then milf. Then squirt. Then mom. Gross. <laughs> then stepsister. Then <laughs> Japanese. Threesome. Massage. Ebony, wait, wait, black, Japanese threesome thing. is not the same thing. No, no Japanese, no, Japanese then, then yeah, threesome, massage, ebony, black, cartoon, gangbang, anal, cream pie, hentai, celebrity, sex tape, Asian, and public. Asians, Where's the cu- Asians where's getting the, disrespected. No Where are the cuckolds? No cuckolds. No, no Overwatch. Cuckolds. No food. And then terms searched by less millennials compared, compared by other generations. Okay, so they search for more of these things. The millennials do. Look at yeah, the top. millennials do. Cosplay by a shitload. <laughs> Nothing wrong with sense. that. Hentai by a pretty much shitload. Every DLV, prodigy. Anime, emo, gym, yoga, teacher, mm. tickling. Really? Uh, yeah, no, yeah. that's a good one. Uh, that's a new one. Party, college, tribbing, which is a great one. I'm just uh, saying. Yeah. <laughs> and which, if you listen to Earth Girls Are Easy, uh, so apparently, <laughs> what are we calling her? Shit on the, on the podcast. Oh, they call her J. 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 Yeah, okay, so J, who is lesbian, she thought this wasn't a real thing. Mm. I knew it was a fucking real thing. Because uh, even though she's a lesbian, obviously. Tell, tell what it is for those who knows. don't know. Tripping is when two girls like sister together and like rub their vaginas or their vaginas are clits together. And she thought it wasn't a real thing. I and, seen it. And then she tri- <laughs> and then she tried it with her partner, and apparently she liked it. That's what's up, Jay. That's hilarious. I like it. Yeah, Learning, right. man. It's, that's all you, we do here. Yeah. So the and, and then uh, foot job. Uh, and then these are the like ones that. where. Older people search for more than go. millennials. Wait, so, the la- oh, sorry. The last yeah. one's got to be tripping. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of funny. So, cougar, hand job, cum shot, babysitter, <laughs> wife swap, <laughs> that's, swingers. That's cuckold. That's cuckold. Yeah, swingers, smoking, hairy, which is, you know, what, granny, which is gross. Mm. Uh, amateur wife, dogging, which is the doggy style? No, mm. dogging is... Oh, boy. It's like a European out. thing. No, it's usually... Public sex, usually in a car oh, yeah, yeah, or yeah, outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. And yeah. then or a park. And then long nipples. I don't, I don't get that no, one. I don't get that. No, that's a good one. That's, that's a good one. one. Yeah. Miss me with that. All right. Categories, vo- categories viewed more often by millennials, which are number one, lesbian. Number two, big dick. Number three, ebony. This is going just down the list. Teen, then melf, babysitter, babe. Big tits is on there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's still lower, though. Yeah, it's yeah. low. And then anal, and then hentai. At the bottom. Yeah, and then older generations. Oh, no, this we just went over that. Yeah. Oh, Kim Kardashian's way up there. Jesus it, Christ. The most uh, popular porn star popular. searched by millennials. Yeah, so I, I'll give you, like, the top fucking five. That's so, funny that she's on there as a porn star. Yeah, which is weird. That's she only hilarious. has one sex tape, right? As far as I know. <laughs> uh, so it's Kim Kardashian, Mia Khalifa, Lisa Ann, yes. Asa, <laughs> Kira. All, I think only two of those are actually, like, current. Yeah, Mia's still retired. Doing stuff. Yeah. Lisa Ann retired too, isn't she? I yeah, think Asha's the only one. And then Madison Ivy, who I don't even fucking know. Oh, that's a good one. I think Riley Reed. Sarah Abram. <laughs> yeah, I see busted ass that's Sarah hilarious. J on there. How, how oh, dare you? She in the she in the gray. She for the old people. How oh, dare yeah. you? Well, y'all know who Farrah Abram is. Pinky's right? on there too. Yeah, she's at so real, she's real, from uh, real MTV. Mom. She's yeah, from Team Mom, Mom too. Oh, wow. And then she started doing porn because she needed money. 
But she, I thought she was good looking for a bit, but then she got all fucking plastic. Yeah, she shit. got all plastic. She had all kinds. I love of how porn, Pornhub has legitimate like statistics behind their yeah. shit. Wait, what is this? It's crazy oh. how they are able to collect this information. Oh, yeah. like I don't remember ever filling out a survey. <laughs> no, I mean, they, they know no, from they where have, the fuck you are. Yeah, they have met, they have metadata. But not age. From where you come in, and what you don't you put. Look you look you at. Well, it's if you have a login. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Login, and yeah. then they just have. So apparently, North Dakota is uh, the highest proportion. Of, uh, yeah, nothing else launcher. to do. Yeah, top Not three California. California's up there, too, though. Yeah, we got 40 million people. That uh, we also sense. make a lot of porn, though, too. So, hell yeah, yeah. good shit. All kind yeah. of shit. Yeah, yeah. That's enough, you gotta though. get throw yeah. that link out there on like Twitter or something so people can uh yeah. be amused because that's a lot of yeah, easy to read charts. Pornhub is on, on point with their shit, now. yes. You know, yeah, but millennials need to like some more big ass titties. Nah, so yeah. they got I've never I'm, been much of a titty man. I'm more of an half guy. Yeah. It's all good. I mean, yeah, but, you like what you like. But. Yeah. True. I mean, but yeah. you, if they got little titties, you can't titty fuck. If, if you, you, if you got a man bun, you got a question. Fucking a pussy. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> everything, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Wow. We got any thoughts? Any other? Oh, oh can we, we have... get to the ass beat and beat? No, we did not. All right. I put this one on here. So this is going to put y'all on the spot if you don't. It didn't do your homework. There's actually a few that's not on here. Uh, well, uh, yeah, they weren't written well, down. Fuck them. Uh, yeah. Give your top three anime, old or new, that you still will be watching before the end of 2017. Are you still old watching? Ninja? Oh, before the end of the year. Yep. What you gonna watch? Uh, so new season, or old? Season four of Voltron: Legendary Defender. There we go. And that shit comes out in October. All right. You got two more. Uh, I I want to see uh Blood Sea Uncensored. Good shit. Shit's fucking violent. Yeah. And yeah. the third one. I, I probably won't do this before the end of the year, even though we keep talking about it. We talk about it over and over again, and that's uh, Death Note because okay. I literally only watched the first episode and I never went back. So, but I, I do. I think the top one on the list is definitely Blood Sea Uncensored. All right, dude. It's funny. There's a parody video out there of Light watching the trailer of the Netflix um, Death Note uh, TV series that's coming out, and it's so fucking hilarious because at the end he's like, you know what? They're gonna fuck with me. I'm gonna fuck with them. And like he just starts doing his little writing thing, and mm-hmm. at the end, it just says Death Note Netflix on there. Like, yeah. the book. What you got for your three? Uh, for me, I'm gonna say uh, Dragon Ball Super. Um, it's in certain communities, usually the black community, uh, people aren't liking it. They say it's kind of shitty. They're kind of redoing stuff, but I don't know. I think it's still fun and uh, interesting to watch. Um, I went back. Wait, this is all anime, huh? Uh, I'd also say Academia, uh, My Hero Academia, because that's, that's been fucking killing it. Yeah. That's it. And uh, I was going to say, I, I actually went back and started watching the old Batman, the animated series. God fucking damn it, man. <laughs> that's not anime. I know, but it's not anime, but it was it was animated in Korea. This motherfucker. You know, <laughs> but no, that's why I said, like, this is an anime, so I'm not going to say that. But I did go back and start watching that. <laughs> but um, Flip over the table, goddamn it. <laughs> the table's heavy. <laughs> 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 I would say for my third one, like I, I actually want to finish watching Bleach because okay. I never, oh, I never okay. finished it because it just it. got, it got too, like it pissed me the fuck off because they had fillers and they went back into the story for like through two or three episodes yeah. and then they went back to fillers there, and they even tell you like, oh, you know, while while Ichigo is fighting such and such, we're gonna just take a look back and see what's going on over here. I'm like, why are you fucking serious? Yeah, they went to filler in the middle of, fu- of a fight scene, and that was like egregious. Yeah, I haven't bad. seen, I haven't watched it oh, since bad. then. So I, I'm gonna try to go back and because somebody posted up his final form, and I'm like, oh, I, I can't watch it. They need to like actually watch anime to see what his final form is. But yeah, Carlos, you got your three. Yeah, yeah. So uh, My Hero Academia, uh, Code Gaius, Luluch the Rebellion, which Ooh. is great. If you're not watching now, it, it's on Crunchyroll now because of the Crunchyroll Funimation merger or whatever. Definitely check that one out. It's fucking dope. And uh, also, I'm hoping that Baruto gets better. So I just have high hopes for it because, I mean, they should be better at this point. <laughs> Sitch, what you got? Um, uh, the professor always has something new for me to, to try to watch. So I can't remember. He's got like a list of shit for me to, to check out. But I can't remember any off the top of my head. I want to go check and see if any new Assassination Classroom got released because um, I hadn't checked in a while. I don't think so, but go okay. ahead. And then um, I still need to, I think later this year, September, October, uh, another season of Food Wars is coming. Yes. Yes. So I plan on uh, watching that with uh, some umami kind (laughs) of (laughs) shit going on. All right. I got Food Wars on mine. I got Space Dandy. I never fucking watched that one. And I definitely want to go back and do it. And then I got, uh, I'm going to try Dragon Ball uh, Super. Oh, cool. 
yeah. based on Blue's recommend motherfucking dation. I'm not oh. sure if I mentioned it last last week, but that Outlaw Star is coming to Cartoon Network. I yes, you did that, mention right? it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good on, to- on Toonami. I'll it's probably great. get back to watching that because I can't even remember what the series was about. I just remember it was just fucking good. Uh, I remember the ships had arms and shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Blue, you managed to finish Voltron, is that right? Yes, I did. It was great. I can't wait for them to release the rest of the season. Yeah, it, it comes back like in later October, August, right? October fourteenth or sixteenth or some shit. Yeah, pretty it's, quick. It's interesting how they pulled in the princess into being one of the one of the um, pilots for the. Well, they line. did it originally in the eighties yeah. version, but it was still pretty like it wasn't like a quick thing. It took like a process, yeah. which was cool. So. Now all the colors are all fucked up though. Yeah, it is because <laughs> everybody like they wear the same colors. They're lions. Now all the colors are all scattered, all the, yeah. other than green and yellow. So season three holds up just like season oh, one yeah. did. Yeah. I mean, it's just Actually, same quality. I yeah. think season three is a little darker. Okay. Than season one. Even I need though to watch se- that one. season one had a little bit of darkness, this one goes a little darker. And it goes into a backstory of Lotor. Uh, right? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. They go more in the history about what, how the war started and how they built a vote the the Voltron cats too. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, and they also do alternate this. universe episode. That was fucking crazy. Uh, at first, I thought that was going to be a gender swap. Yeah, thing, but, but no, uh, it was like literally like culture and almost species swap type shit. Mm-hmm. It was crazy. All it was right. good ass episode. Y'all want to. Uh, sure. Stitch, what you got popping this weekend? Uh, This weekend? Uh, I can't really think of anything. I probably just try to do some gaming. Uh, I want to finish up on the last two episodes of Rick and Morty that I haven't seen from season <laughs> two. Love that. <laughs> it shows, that show's great. Uh, hysterically fun. I plan on downloading um the Assassin's Creed uh Freedom. Oh yeah, yeah Django. Yeah, oh, the Django one. Fucking... Yeah, I want to. I want to. Yeah, I want to get that uh and play some time on that because uh, it's free this month on PlayStation Plus. Um, I... There was another game too that was free. I, I got them both. Just Cause. Uh, yeah, Just yeah, Cause okay, Three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they have some good stuff on PlayStation Plus. So if uh, anybody out there has it, uh, definitely check it out. Uh, <laughs> I'll try to twitch uh, some of that that gameplay out for sure. Um, other than that, I don't really think I have anything. I, I mean, I plan on watching the Defenders, obviously, and um, that's all I can really think of. All right, old ninja, what you got? Uh, yeah, the piggy up, piggyback off of what Stitch was saying. Definitely checking out the Defenders. Probably like when it drops, like twelve oh one Friday morning or whatnot. Um, I'm catching up on Gotham. I'm in the middle of season three right now before it comes back. Um. I'm caught up on Rick and Morty so far. A new episode should be on Sunday night, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I need to catch it. up on The Strain, actually. I forgot to watch the last Sunday's episode, so I might watch that tonight, actually, after the cast. Um, I'm going to try to do, like, a community play date. So look out, check our Facebook page and Twitter to see what we're planning on doing. What do you mean by that, community? So it'll be basically people, are, you know, our listeners, friends or whatnot, we're going to post out when we're going to be gaming, what oh, we're okay. going to, and then invite, you know, a select amount of people if we get more than more requests than we can handle. We'll pick out a few, have them game with an announcement from us about what time and what game, what system we're going to do this. We're going to try to make this a weekly or bi-monthly thing, but just be on the lookout in the next couple days. About some gaming with B the BTI. Hell fucking yeah. Uh Blue, what you got? Um, so <clears throat> so there's a book that um the Sweetness and I read of, like a couple of years ago called Mr. Mercedes. Um it's by Stephen King. And I did not know this, but they made a TV series based off the book. Oh. And basically what the book is about is there's a, a detective. So there's a the book begins with with a guy driving a car through a car. A crowd of people okay. Holy shit. killing like a bunch of people even like a, uh, a woman with her baby and um basically this detective gets the case but he retires before it's ever solved yeah but this guy mr mercedes starts taunting him so it's just pretty much him it's the book is about him trying to find this guy before he does it again i've seen the commercial for this it's with the old guy the red-headed ginger guy with the beard yeah yeah he then i didn't i don't the only reason why Wait, i knew hold on he's a redhead and a ginger well, <laughs> one or the other. He's, he's like Irish too. Black, yeah, the Irish black guy. Negro. Yeah, one of, one of them peoples. But um, the the chick from Weed is in there. Mary Mary Lou. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, she She's plays good. like not his love interest. But so the first episode came out last Wednesday, and it's only available through AT and T Dish Network. And the only reason why I came across uh, it is because I was looking for shows through Cody, and I saw it. I was like, this can't be the well the book, and it turned out it was. But I I watched the first episode, the pilot episode, and literally his neighbor. 
was down to fuck. Like, she literally said, like, hey, you know, you're old, I'm old, how about we fuck? He's like, why would I want to do that? He's all the, and she, she hands him a, his, her phone, and it's a naked picture of her on the phone. Mm. And he's like, oh, shit, what the fuck? And it, it's, so far, it's been pretty funny, but, like, it's pretty, fu- so far, it's pretty close to the book. And it's, I think it's, uh, it's gonna be 12 episodes. Okay. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that because it's a really good book. And I always, I mention to people to check that out if they like, uh, kind of suspenseful de- detective, mo- uh, books or novels or whatever. Um, I'm also going to a draft party this weekend too, even though I don't play fantasy football. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> I mean, and what dragons. the fuck? I've been going to this for a long time. I just go to hang out with friends while they do their draft pick. I just kind of the spectator, get to hear them kind of bullshit and talk back and forth with each other. You should and record this. Enjoy yeah. some, some good ass fucking food. And ask uh, about A.A. A. Ron. Yeah, tell them about Olivia Munn's husband. I'm pretty sure they don't know. Her <laughs> ex-husband or whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's a good time with friends. You know, they we usually get like a like professional or taco people come by with uh, and make tacos and shit like that. It's a bunch of drinking hell? and shit. So it's a lot of like, fun. Um, hopefully I can do another, I can finish up my, my VR review of, um, oh shit, I can't remember the game name now. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to do a <laughs> VR review this weekend, and then also I'm going to do, try to do a product <laughs> review. Nice. All right. us what you got? Tomorrow's my fucking birthday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know how cool it's going to be, because I have a goddamn home inspection on the same day. Oh, mm. sure, but, are, are you yeah. going to try to kill your liver or not? Uh, I don't know. I've been on keto for a while. I've been drinking a little bit, like... Actually, I'm, I'm I'm gonna drink either tomorrow or Saturday heavily. There definitely next Friday. De- yeah, next Friday I'm definitely gonna drink. So yeah, like heavily. Everybody bring your spare liver, but don't. <laughs> <laughs> other other than that, it's uh, the last week. My oldest daughter's gonna be here, so that's gonna suck after that. Um, and then I'm gonna bring back probably Cronus does the podcast uh, in September. So yeah, Good shit. that'll be something to look forward to. So right after Labor Day then. Yeah, yeah. Good shit. Not gonna wear white anymore, you know. Oh man. <laughs> oh fuck. All right. I'm... Don't have the solar eclipse that's happening Monday. Oh yeah, sure it is. Monday? But we won't be able to epic. really see. We're not in the path in California at well, all. It won't, it won't be complete blackout, but it, you're gonna see the moon cover the sun. It's really? gonna cover 70 percent, 70 75 percent of the moon of the sun. Oh. Okay. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. All right. Are you sure? Apparently, we're gonna be able to see some weird shit. Yeah. All right. We shall see. Yes, I'm looking to the sun. Should be dope. Good fucking shit. I can't wait to play that goddamn Uncharted game. I, I'm really Still looking forward to days. that. So it's on Tuesday. You're going to get it? You yeah, I'm going to drop it. I'm going to get it at launch, and I'll probably twitch it out and shit. You gave so, what you're doing? Uh, that's what I'm oh, okay. going to be doing, and <laughs> I'm going to be watching some Winona's been lit. So yeah. Oh, shit. I'm fucking with that. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get Melanie on the fucking yeah. tags. There yeah. should be a, uh, I guess, in the next couple of ways, look, uh, days, look out for uh, Old Ninja's review on uh, Gentleman's Club. It does not have an official name, but yeah, yeah be on the lookout. And then uh, an episode of Stitches Shogugeki Get dropped. ready to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we gave ratings, so it'll be it'll be uh, interesting mm, to hear what we right. uh, talked about on that. I, wanna, I can't wait for that. Yeah. Yes. So Take- check us out on uh, Facebook. Be on the lookout for an announcement about some gaming. Check us out on Twitter at BTI. Check out our website, binhatproductions.com slash BTI. And listen to us on Apple Podcasts. Is it Apple mm-hmm. iTunes? Yeah. Whatever the fuck Apple's got. We Leave a rating. Too. Five stars. Five stars. Check us out. Stitcher, Play FM, BTI. There you go. And thank you to uh, Something Something Cast for our new intro. We'll hit you up with uh, a promo pretty soon. Oh, yes. thank you to Kate, Earth Girl K-Mac for coming on the show. Yeah, really yes. appreciate it. Yeah. We had a lady... Yeah. Well, she still needs to answer that question though. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>